replace right when I move on the board. So these are my guys. So that's rally phase. Nothing's going to happen. Prep fire, my prep fire phase, nothing. My movement phase, I'm going to move. And he's just going to come on the board. So he's going to come on one. And that'll replace your dude. Two. Thank you. Three. Huh. Four. Four. And he's going to split there for five because he can use the road bonus movement on that one. So that's that's his freebie. Five. Doesn't he have to? Okay, I'm, I'm just, this is a, just asking a question. I'm not yeah, yeah, ask difficult. all you want. Ask all you want. Oh, 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 oh I see. The, the, the road hex goes into there. Oh, he can do that. Right, yeah, okay, right. gotcha. Good, good. Yeah. I didn't uh, see that. It otherwise, he'd have to uh, late CX by himself. But yeah, absolutely. Right. And so these other guys are still with the leader. And then... um. Four, five. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. You can move another one down the road if you want. Yeah. Because you get that uh, bonus, right? Right. Um, I don't want to be stuck much... on one side of the map for the other. Pretty much all you can do, though. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's seven. So that's just right. seven movement factors, okay? Yep. And then um, this other guy over here will come on bypassing this, this uh, woods here. So we'll go one. Two bypass. Damn it. Okay. And then okay. three and a half. Five. Holy crap. That's a little slow. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I might get caught, to be honest with you. And then because I don't want to move him one more because that'll CX him. So that's five. Damn it. I always get that screwed up. What I should have done is bypass U ten and come on that way. That way I can move faster. Anyway. Alright. So be it. Um yeah, that's not fun. Those guys are gonna get annihilated, to be honest with you. So that's my movement I, I, phase. Obviously, you have no defensive fire phase, and then uh, because technically your guys aren't even set up yet. Technically, you guys aren't even set up yet. So I actually got the the scenario completely wrong the way. No defensive fire. I obviously don't have any advanced fire. Route phase. You can voluntarily break in ASL and uh, allow you to route away from guys. That's huge. That's a big distinction between ASL and SK. Very huge. And then um, advanced phase. I'm, God, that guy's alone. Truly, why would you do that, though? Uh, well, get a free pot shot. <clears throat> I mean, I can't let you have the hedgerow for free, right? No, no, no. You missed an. I'm sorry. I didn't. Why would you voluntarily break? Um, like if, like, uh, let's say, let's say you had a gigantic. You moved. Uh, for whatever reason, you moved a stack like somewhere close. And like I fired everything, and you and you were going to advance in me in close combat, right? So you have this stack of like just tons. Of, I have, there's no way I'm going to survive. I break, and then I just go two, four, six, and run away. And then you can't kill me in uh. close combat. Primarily, it's to avoid the close combat insta kills. Primarily. And um, and it's something that people do in real life anyway, because. People don't want to mix it up, so yeah, that makes you, sense. You see, like fifty guys outside the building. There's five of you inside. It's like I'm, I'm out of here. Yeah, I'm, I'm out of here. Gotcha. And that's just, and that's the beauty about those machine guns. And this one, I can voluntarily break with machine guns, and but take them with me. You know, if I get stuck in a bad spot, so uh, I can advance him. Wow. Uh, that's just uh God, six firepower would be really good if you move point blank. But we're just gonna advance him back down here. Yeah, I think he's gonna die to be honest with you. And then um Those are treated as hedgerows, right? Those are hedgerows. So we've got there's no wall advantage thingy going on there, is there? Or yeah, there's and, wall advantage on hedgerows. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So if I'm shooting from, because I've never done hedges before, if I'm shooting from say Z9 to BB8, I can do that, but I can't shoot from Z9 to CC8. 
I'm sorry, Z9 to BB8. Okay, so, so it's two X's away. I can, I can, I can hit BB8. Correct. If I were shooting from there, I could hit BB8, but I can't hit CC8 because of that hedge. Correct. Because it's a half level okay, obstacle. Okay. It's a half level obstacle. All right. So that's in between you and the opposing. You, all, you can always fire at that obstacle into the hex. Of course, there's always exceptions, but for the most part, you can always fire on those guys in the hex. And I probably should have just stayed on the hex row. And I just, this guy over here is just jacking around, to be honest with you. So we're just going to move him here. Uh, Uh, we'll just do that instead of wasting more time. I could probably do something better than that, but that, that's that's my move. And then so okay. that's my advanced phase. Close common, nothing occurs. And bad guy. This is kind of yeah, kind of kind of cool. So bad guy turn one, and um, right. and there you go. And so you would like to say do your pre your pre rally phase, which would be deploy. I don't even have my SO rules on this one, but um, and then I've um, got I've got a little cheat sheet here. Okay. So, oh yeah, it's oh, SK. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's yeah, SK, but it's pretty much this. I mean, most of this stuff is. No, uh, they have okay. um, they have some really good ones. I, and, I, and what you do is you make it in booklet form, so it's like uh, oh, five and a half. It's like four and a half by. No, it's it's like eight and a half by eleven, but it's like a booklet, so you four and a half. So it's like four four and a half by five, and it's like a little. You go through all sequences, and it's the the shortened version. I have it. Damn, I like. Right. I've seen the long one that has everything from, you know, it has uh, OBA and it has, you know, parachuting and yeah, that's uh, garbage. That's, that's too much. Desert rat movement and, you know, just. Yeah, you just want the basic oh. one. And I've got mine. Right. Are you kidding me? Really? I've had it, literally, I've had it here for like 10 years. No, I can't find it. But anyway, go ahead and uh, and do your stuff. I'll try and find my little list. Okay, that, so that it's. That is really oh, cool. No, I can't prep fire, so I gotta move, and I, you gotta be watching while I do that. So. Okay. All right. One sec. Give me, give me literally like. Damn. I'm not. I'm in no hurry. I have. I have no. Oh yeah, here it is. Wait, 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 wait. So there's, there's, and I printed mine in colors. The colors are really good. The color one's really good because, um, you know, the rally phase is titled in blue and the whole nine yards. So, but it talks about. And there's a big fat one, and then there's a little regular one. And it has on the first on the first page, it's it's called Advanced Squad Leader Phases Quick Reference. I don't know if you have the same thing, but it has status summaries like pin. It has it's got pin, CXTI, and wall advantage all on the front little half sheet. So there's, like I said, it's, it's an eight and a half and eleven fold it in half, and it's you just make it a little booklet, and um, it's got all the you, stuff that you always forget. Where and do you then, get that? Uh, it's just one of the file downloads. I'll fi I'll find it for you and send it to you. It is absolutely okay, cool. freaking brilliant. I never use it because you know you just get used to doing the same thing. But you, you, the charts, if you have the your if ASL rulebook, you'll learn more by reading the charts than by reading the actual rule. Because like the bog and you know immobilization attempts and shock and things like that, just look on the charts and read the charts and, and decipher the charts. And look at the modifiers, like, okay, half movement point to go through a woods for a vehicle is like plus three on the bog die roll. But if you use all of it, you don't get the plus three. And so you can't read that in the rule. You have to learn that from the chart. And so you'll learn better movement mechanics by understanding the charts in that particular instance. And same right. sort of thing. But yeah, just I'll, 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 I'll find it online and I'll put it in the, I'll put it in the room here. And uh, it's really good. It's really simple. It's, it's like, like one phase per page. It has all the stuff that you want to do on that one page, except for the movement phase. The movement phase is the entire game of Squad Leader. So, could you could you put it uh, just you don't have to, but could you put it in the um, in the Facebook chat? Oh yeah, yeah. I'll, as a matter of fact, that I'll, way I'll, I'll I'll have it forever. I'll look for I'll, I'll look to upload it on the file on that. As a matter of fact, I'll look for it right now to see if it's even there. It might actually be there already. Okay. So go ahead and, and go some... ahead and start your move. I'll I'll, I'll do that off off. Well, I, I might actually have something to add here. This ASL starter kit sequence of play thing I have, it's on Texas ASL, and it's really good. If you can print it in color, it has each phase has its uh, is color coded, so yeah. that so at the end of that phase, mm -hmm. it tells you that it's it's color coded the same thing as like the defensive fire phase is purple. Yep. And prep, I mean it it's really easy to follow if you're new, and you know I consider myself new. 
So you might want to like spread that knowledge to your newbies as well if you can find it. Right. So that, um, what's the what's if, the name of the um, of the chart? ASL Starter Kit Sequence of Play, and it's the only place I've ever found it is on Texas ASL. If I can if I can locate it, I'll, I'll send you a link. Yeah, I'm looking on the um on the Facebook thing to see if to see if it's there. If not, I'll find it. Sequence okay. of Play. I'll write that down. All right. So uh, I can go as far as ten or okay. Now uh, here I'm starting. Okay. I look over to the left, or the sorry, the west. Let's see. I'm trying to catch the hang of this here. Moving. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to use the keyboard because that seems to be control. Now conscripts only have a movement of three, right? Correct. Unless they're stacked with a leader, then they're considered like, like normal units. Oh, okay. oh, no, 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 sorry, you're right, five. If they're green, they have three. If they're stacked with a leader, they have four, they have four. Okay. So okay. green units, actually the American green units are better conscripts, better inexperienced troops than conscripts. Conscripts are pretty much garbage, but they can still win games for you. <clears throat> well, that will explain why I'm going to do what I'm about to do. Okay. Uh, I'm going to declare CX for the guy, you see him, I've got him marked. Uh, he's coming down. I don't see him you actually. Get a, oh, you should see him. So, okay, all right, I'll tell you what. No, you don't see him because here, I'm going to find the CX thing. Okay. Is that market CX? <laughs> all right, CX, there we go. Oh, perfect. Oh, oh my God. All right? Yep. My size is hurting, that's all. Okay, one. Yes. Two. Okay. Three. All right, stop. And rub. Okay. So I will fire on you. Okay. And since I am coming out of hidden, I can obtain wall advantage when I come out of hidden status. Where's where's the conceal? There, oh, that's not it. Delete. Yep. Yeah, there you go. So I'll have uh, six minus two on you right there. Okay. And I gotta find my little chart thing. There we go. That's why I use the conscript. Yeah. It's okay. The more guys that try to break, the better. So uh, six minus two, and where's the little roller thing? Okay. Uh, so that is a six on the six, which is a one morale check. Yay. Okay. And I make my roll here. Where is it? Morale check. That is a pin, right? All right. Right? Yes. That's right. All right. So let me... That is a pin. Oh, good deal. That's a good roll. Yeah. Okay, and I'm stopped. Correct. But I no longer in incur the open movement. I'm Correct. The open movement penalties because Correct. I've stopped. Okay. And I cannot move into your hex in, because it's uh, the whole advanced phase. Now, uh, you've got like one uh, thing of resid there, right? Uh, actually, it was six firepower, so half that would be... Oh, a three? Three, two. so it would be a two two residual. All right, so... So you put it down. Okay, good, yeah. good. All right. Um, Hey, old werewolf, how's it going? You guys been playing today? I played a normal game earlier. Oh my god, it was terrible. It was absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. But uh, this game should go for probably like another hour or two or so. And then hopefully I'll be on. And he moved through AA10? AA10 to um, AA9. Okay. Stopping there. So one, two... I will. One, two. All right, okay, I'll fire. So I'll fire the three three seven. That's the, that's an AA seven right below you. Okay. And uh, so your non assault. You tell me what the modifier is. Okay, so I'm non assault moving. So that's going to be minus one just because I'm moving, and it's going to be uh, 
Well, wait a minute. Now, here's here's what I'm wondering about. All right. Since I move up to the hedge, that's really not open movement, is it? Because there is there is a hindrance or some sort of terrain effects modifier. You get is that the, correct? Yeah, you get the TEM from the hedge. So it's plus one, minus one. That comes out to be zero. So correct. it's a three zero. Three down zero. Now, if I or were an X, now if I were an X nine, you would be moving in the open. Right, because you because because you're what's cause, because it's a half terrain half. Uh, be, what's it a half level? Yeah, but I'm not. I won't. I wouldn't be firing through the hex. I would just be firing through right, the open right, ground right. side. Yeah. So yeah, that, and that's the thing about head, hedges and walls, right? Right. It's only through if you're firing. Okay. Yeah, and say say if I had a unit in AA nine, um, uh, let me. I bounce basically. If I had a unit in AA eight and Z eight. Right, and say for whatever reason you have wall advantage, so you could claim that terrain effect modifier on that wall, and both of those guys fired as a fire group on you, one guy firing through the hedge and one guy not firing through the hedge, you would still get the hedge modifier. Right. So you right. always get the worst of the whole shebang. And only one leader, the leader <clears throat> can only modify what's in his hex. So Correct. You, okay, I, I know where I'm going with that. Okay. Correct. Correct. All right. So, um, so ahead. that that would be a what? So, what what are we looking at? That's a that's a two even. Right, which is a really shitty chart. <laughs> so well, we might get a lot of snipers nothing. because I might be firing a lot of two charts. <laughs> so two even. Right. So I need a. Actually, I don't mind pinning you because pinning you slows you. Eleven's not going to do anything. <clears throat> so he's first. I'm sorry. The uh, the guy over here is first fired as well. Sorry about that. Okay. That you can't. Um... And can you tell me how many residuals left in that hex? Uh, one. Because it's half. Oh wait, there's a no. That's hindrances. I'd say one. Okay, how do you get one? Well, it's half of the. It's half of the. Um, if you have, oh, how do I say this? It's, it's half, half the of whatever the firepower was. It's yeah, the infantry fire table. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's half a two. So it's one. Right, but now here's where I'm unclear. Is it? Hindrances or terrain effects modifiers that shift it down. It's hindrances between the targets. Right. So if you had smoke in your hex, it would not reduce the the, the residual. Oh, okay. Okay. That's but if it's between right. them, it would. And right. hex sides. So that plus one hedge reduces it by one, plus two wall so would reduce zero. it by two. So right. there's nothing. So there's, there's no, no residual there, right? Okay. And residual right. firepower, especially in something like a game like this, is your friend, you know, because it, you know, that's where spray fire comes in handy. But I don't have any of that crap. It Man, I'm gonna get my ass. Man. I'm gonna get my ass kicked here real quick. <laughs> sure. Oh, okay. Yeah. So no, no residual there. But I, you'll see. That's the number one thing you see a lot. These guys will throw residual there, and uh, it makes a big difference. Okay, so and here's something that I, I want to make sure I understand correctly. Now, let's say that there is clear ground between you, between my 336 and AA9, and your guy in uh, EE8. Uh, you can't subsequent fire at me because there is a, a, a unbroken unit closer to you than that guy. Close. That's my... Very All close. Right, so, so help me out here. Help me Very out here. close. Uh, so you are correct. The unit in E8. Let's say that was. let say there's. There's. Let's say it's clear. Yeah, I could see you. I, it's clear. It's clear right now. Anyway, so I could. I, I could theoretically fire on that hex. Um, right. One first fire. If I'm first fire, uh, I could only. I could only subsequent first fire. There's two things happening here. Two rules kind of play into this. One kind of trumps the next one. But I'll I'll show you the first fire. You being here, let's say I, you being here, right? I can only fire at a unit that's no further from the nearest enemy unit. It doesn't have to be unbroken. Okay. Oh, okay. So if okay. you're broken, I couldn't fire again. It doesn't give me a freedom of fire beyond that range. So if you were two hexes away, I could only subsequent fire fire two hexes away. But let's say for instance I KIA'd him. Okay. Then he's not there anymore. And so, so he's not there anymore, but I'm still first fired. I couldn't subsequent first fire on the unit in AA9 because it's outside my normal range. 
Oh, it is. Okay, that's right. I yeah. keep. I, I've never. I don't usually use units with that shorter range. Yeah, so, yeah, okay. shit. Okay. Yeah, these are shit you. units. <laughs> you, you can't. You can't area fire in subsequent first fire. Can you? Can you do it in first? You can do it in first fire. Though, I right? could first fire at you in AA nine with my normal range. I could fire up to double my normal okay. range in first in, in in first fire. So he has a six right. hex range. All of our units essentially have a six hex range. All right. So of course, if I to move one of these three three sevens down, jump the hedge, and and say I want to, and I'm gonna I'm thinking about say you know doing close combat, I could do that. You know I I could move that far, but you would get a chance if you wanted to to do a final fire. I could you, yes. You you roll the dice, and if the dice if the die roll is above your morale, you break. You know I can break, you can break both. Right. Right. So what would happen there? Say you charged him. Say, right. say you move to unit in EE9. I subsequent first fire. I get no penalties from the subsequent first fire. So that would flip my first fire to a final fire. So let's say let's say you move this guy here. And I would defensive first fire. So now it becomes a final fire. Okay. And let's say right. this guy can move here. What that does is I can continue to fire, but only at adjacent units. But once I'm final fired... That dice roll will be exactly like you said, substitute as a morale check for me. Right. And with all penalties ensued. So if I rolled snake eyes, that's heat of battle. If I roll 12, that's casualty reduction. Right. So, but yeah, it becomes a morale check. And when you have like eight morale units, you know, a lot of times you can afford the final protective fire. Six morale units, uh, probably not going to happen. Right, so you can basically final protective fire infinite. as many times it, 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 as long as you stand fast. Okay. Correct, infinite, infinite amount of times. And the best right. thing about that is if you have a 10, like say a 10-2, 10-3 leader, and you have an 8 morale unit, guess what? Anything less oh than a 12, you're okay. That's true. Anything less than a 12, he can just continues to fire at minus 3. Wow. So, okay. well... Actually, that's that's wrong. Eleven will break the leader. Eleven and twelve will break the leader, and then you're really screwed. <laughs> right, so anything less than a, to... anything less than a ten, a ten will pin the leader, which will lose you the leadership modifier for the subsequent unit. And so ten actually ten will be really bad. For so that wait well. about that. If you if your guy breaks, do you have to undergo a, a leadership? Uh... Pin task check in that um, situation? In that specific that situation, only... you're probably going to break as well. Okay. Because that is that, that same role is your morale check. So if your leader's breaking, you're breaking. Right. Because both of you are taking that morale check. Now, right, now if, you fired a, if you fired like a whole stack of them, because you don't see it that often. If you fired a whole stack of them, I think they all would break. I'm not sure if that's a random selection or if all would break. I think they all would. But. Yeah, which is right. really odd because it's usually a random selection. But anyway, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's something, right, so, to, something to look forward to. I mean, actually, it's something we may need to... I'll scan that while you're still moving. All right, so uh, here's another one. And that's right. I have the benefit of bypass. I forget about this. Yeah, by, I tell you, bypass is huge. Yeah, that's it's. I'm not used to bypass. Okay, so I'm declaring... Um, Actually, do you have to declare uh, counter exhaustion at the beginning of the phase, or, or when you first move, or can you do it halfway through? If you declare at the beginning of the phase, you get two movement factors. If you declare it after you begin movement, you get one movement factor. Oh, neat! That's that is not in starter kit. Correct. Starter kits is do it the first, or you can't do it at all. So what you what you can kind of do is it gives you a little bit more freedom of movement. Where you could say, oh, that guy's not counter-exhausting, and there's no way he's going to make it to that. And then right at the end, you counter-exhaust, and you move that extra hex. Okay. All right. Well, like I say, it's just a conscript, so we're going to – I'm going to bypass here. And you can kind of – this is the guy kept walking into T10. He's bypassing the woods. <laughs> okay. So there's one. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. That's all right. Okay. And I'm going to do CX. Oh, I'll do that here in a second. You go CX first? So that, no. Okay. Uh, let's see. Because it, it won't make it. One. 
Yeah. So it, it, it two and a half. Down. And now I'll do CX. To four? Yeah, so I can move this last one. To T8? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're kind of off. You're kind of off wonky there. Are you, are you centered hex happen? on yours? No, I'm not. How do I? What? Oh, there you okay, go. There Boom. Go. Okay. There you go. Perfect. All right. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes the map can be quirked a little bit, and sometimes we are the the counters can overlay. So um, I'm not going to okay. fire on him. He's 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 free and clear. He doesn't see any bad guys. E easy game for him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not for now. For yeah, because he's All looking right. kind of far. I got shit firepower. He's going to be like plus two. So I'm going to. There's no way I can affect him. So it. yeah. Right. right. All right. Now on the two two seven, normally you put the MMG on top of him to show possession. Oh, like this? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, well the you might want to pull on two two yeah the two TF the three three seven will have the capture weapon penalty. So yeah, right, just right. like that. So, a yeah. lot, a lot of that's another thing I usually see is a lot of guys will put the machine guns the D third units. That seems to be, uh, which you know it's a, it's a convention. That's all. All right. No, it's a, it's it makes sense though. I'm gonna I'm gonna un yeah, unmove those guys. There you go. Boom. Oh, thanks. Just trying to okay. And I had an idea what I was gonna do, and I lost it. Sorry. I love the color of these of the Chinese. They're pretty cool. But have you seen the uh, Forgotten War Chinese? Uh, I have Forgotten War, but I haven't seen them. No. The all the, there's a lot of two tone counters in there. I think that's pretty sharp. I like yeah. I I haven't played any of it. You know, it's unpunched, but I've looked at it, and uh, it's pretty. Yeah, that's that's it's real. Pretty. That's really good. That's really good. and all my stuff's on. I buy all this stuff. I buy it to support the hobby. I've played it forever. It's like, <laughs> and, you know, I it's, it's, that's all. That's, that's all there's to it. You, you you buy you know all the like I say the Euro games are, are they used to be like thirty and forty bucks when I started playing them about ten or fifteen years ago. Now they're like sixty and seventy. So it's like shit. I'll just buy an ASL module. At least I could sell that thing for more money than I paid for it in three or four years. You know. Yeah. So, but I won't sell right, them. There's no reason to sell them. Like my garbage. One, two. Crossing a wall is how much? One plus two? COT. Okay, so cost of, okay, it'd be 2.5 to cross into there. Yeah, wheat fields are pain in the ass, <laughs> to be honest with you. Wheat fields oh, are no, pain. I love They're going to be my friend here in a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah. You'll, you love them, but I, oh, man, I moved them. It was just a pain in the ass. For like four, yeah, mod, kind of... four, four, uh, four movement factor units, you just. Wait, Wait, I just I had a thought. What, What's what, what time of year is this? Uh, this is July. Okay, so we got wheat fields. Okay. Yeah, July nineteenth. Yeah, yeah, wheat fields are in session. Yeah, this this would be this would be an extremely boring game if there are no wheat fields. Okay, I'm trying to. I don't want to. Uh, trying to figure out how do you um, I see this if you if you look at my fourth stack from the left. Right. It's a three three seven and three C six. Three three six. Okay. Now how do I um get one or the how other? How do I choose yeah. Double click, expand the stack, and then pull the one you want to move. Oh, okay. That's easy. And you want to make sure that the both of them aren't highlighted, otherwise you'll pull them both. So just double click right. real quick and then it'll pop it out. And then just kind of you know, grab whatever you want. And one thing, uh, like, like, say the MMG, uh, like, look at the MMG stack right there, right? Expand your, expand your stack. And what yeah. you can do is, like, I've selected the MMG in the two two seven. If you arrow down, it will move the highlighted items to the bottom. If you arrow up, it moves to the top. If you move it to the left, it moves it down one. If you move it to the left again, it moves it down another. Oh, sweet. So you kind of that's kind of little, so a lot of times that's kind of useful. You get you'll get used to that. You'll get okay. used to that, but so. Yeah. All right, so back to this dude. I actually love conscript units because you don't never expect anything out of them, and if they do anything right, it's like a victory. <laughs> it's a victory all in all in of itself. <laughs> CX units can't advance, right? Yes, they may. Pinned units may not advance, but CX units are fine to advance. Okay, but so but. Sorry, go ahead. But they are, they are, they are, of course, there's like, again, exceptions. If you advance by using um, 4MF or all of your MF to advance to do a hex, you become CX. 
So if you are already CX and you want to advance that hex, let's say like going out of a gully into a woods because that costs 4 MF, and if you were right. CX in the gully, you could not advance because that would that's called a minimum move. Uh, or advance? Uh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. That's not a minimum move. That's quote an advance versus difficult terrain. A minimum move is just moving one hex and expending all your movement factors. You become CX. So, if if it takes you four MF to move one hex, you cannot assault move into that hex because okay. you have to have some MF left over. All right. All right so, so, I. I my, My attempt here was to put the CX on the 336. I think I succeeded. Okay. All right. So, one. Uh, see, it's off center again. Okay. All right. One. There you go. Perfect. Two. Right. Okay. Three. All right. Five. Oh, you picked that guy up. Did it show that you picked that guy up? Uh, you did. All right, that's what? easy. I'll just move them out. No, my preference is, is that it shouldn't pick them up. I picked you. I picked you up as well. Uh, I just moved him back. Okay. It um, should, but, but you're right. That shouldn't have happened. Look on your um. Look on your preferences. Uh, on your control table, file preferences, and then in your general tab. Look um third box from the bottom make sure that's unchecked it is on moving stack should pick up non-moving pieces unchecked okay so you should be okay there you should be okay All right, I don't should know. be i don't know i must have done something wrong there. okay so you're gonna fire at me or what are you gonna do no no he's free he's he's, he's a good man he's a good man no oh, you, you moved adjacent to me i did oh hell yeah Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought. Oh my bad, I got confused. You know, two guys jumped over the wall, and I got confused. So tell me what well, the firepower is and what the modifiers are. Okay. All right, you've got three, but this is your second shot. You're double, but you're halved, so it's three, which is two column, right? Yep. Um, I am moving in the open, so it's two minus two, and this is now. This isn't a subsequent. Is this treated as the final fire, or is this treated as subsequent? No, I, 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 I already flipped it. So this is a subsequent first fire. So it flips the counter. Okay. All right. So, but you don't. This is not the one where you do the morale check. If Correct. I were, if I were, you know, feeling froggy, or if I had the movement points and I moved, I'm trying to move around you. Why I would do this, I don't know. But if I'm trying to move around you, you that next one would be a final. Okay. All right. So you are two. Minus two. Correct. And that is an eight on the two chart, which is nothing, but I get to leave residual there. Okay. So that's, you got one there. Right. Okay. And you can move on um, half hexes, right? Correct. Okay. Declaring CX on this fellow here. Interesting. Okay. There it is again. One, two, mm -hmm. three, four, six. Nice. Green clear. Excellent. Uh, actually, yeah, I've already made the move. I'm not pulling it back. I'm not that kind of turd. But um, no, no, you can pull it back. What do you want to do? Have been... Oh no, no, no! I don't want to. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. And this is, you know, this this is how you learn. Um, now, if I had, would it have been since I don't see any other of your guys here, right? And that guy can't subsequent first fire at me. Would it have been a better thing to do? Stop here, 
and advance into that in case you had somebody in, say, down in uh, G8 or uh, well, I don't know if S, I'm not going to try to cite it, but if S, the EE5 or, say, um, GG, GG4 and it could have fired at me there, um, would it have been better for me just to stop in the G? You see what I'm saying? It depends on what you the... want that move to accomplish. Okay, fair It's enough. a dumb answer, but let's say since no, I'm hidden, a right? Problem. Maybe okay. you want him to bait out a shot. So if, let's say, one of my hidden guys was over there, because I only got four hidden guys on the map, you know where one of them, well, four plus two mediums, right? right. So you know where one guy is. So if you could find where the other guys are, then the other guys have a little bit more freedom of movement, and that would be a perfectly fine move. If that's like a stack of giant units and that's your kill stack, and let's say I bore sighted at a hex for whatever reason, right? Then if you think that that might be a viable option, you might not want to move your whole stack in there because you're probably going to get it wiped out. So right. it all depends okay. on what you want that move to accomplish. Like your three three, like your like you said, like exactly like your three three. Why are you moving three three sixes first? Because they're expendable. If they get shot at, you find information out, and that's exactly what you did. And now it allowed your three three seven, which is a more valuable unit, to get into a better position for him to do what he needs to do. Right. right. So if his intent was to move in there and reveal someone that's maybe like an FF six or something like that you know, get blasted by him, then that's his intent. Right. But um, uh, again, it's, it, it's, it's not a mistake and it's not a good move unless what you want that move to accomplish succeeds in doing what, you know, you know what I'm saying? I it's, do. It's kind of like, it's kind of like both. Do you want to reveal someone Then move in the open for all, for all you want, move in the open and try and draw fire, you know, and uh, then everyone else can move accordingly. But if you don't want that, then you sneak along and you you know you take cover and hold on yards. So it all depends on what you want to do. But yeah, yeah, exactly. Like I could fire on him possibly if I've got units adjacent. Uh, you know, if I had a guy like an FF6, you know, there's two things, right? Two things can hurt. It's possible that I have a guy in FF6 or FF7. It's possible. Um, it's possible for two reasons. One, your pin unit's not going to go anywhere. So he's not going to advance right. anywhere. If I have a unit FF6, and let's say your intent was to advance, because you have no other units that could probably go over there, likely, you know, I don't know what you're going to do. Um, if you intend to advance into FF6, you are going to be majorly screwed if there's a guy there in close combat, because I'm going to have concealment ambush. for the ambush and URCX. So yeah, that's a yeah. plus three in my direction. So most likely I will ambush you. And when I do, let's assume if I have someone there, I'll have a minus one on ambush and your CC is minus one from CX. And you go first. And, and if you ambush yeah. somebody, I don't necessarily get the strike back. Right. right. So there's all that that comes into play. And there's all that that comes right. into play. And I can see why they didn't add concealment in starter kit because... Just concealment alone really changes up how you, you want to attack things. So, yeah, there's and, – and, again, there's a reason why I may or may not be firing a guy. Because, like, if, if there's a guy there and you move in there and say, well, why didn't you fire at me in first fire? Well, maybe I wanted to keep my concealment and almost get the instant kill in close combat. So, okay. But if you move, like, right, two so or three guys over there, yeah, I might want to fire then. You know what I'm saying? So, But I don't know what sure. you're going to do. So. Well, you're about to find out. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right. I know. I, I didn't mean to put the CX on him that early. You can see up top. You can see that. I meant to do it like I was going to – Oh well, I'll show you. What, what I meant to do is move four and then put the CX on, but um, I messed up. Well, if you put on early, you get six. If you put on late, you get five. Right. So, yeah, yeah whatever you want to do. If you if it, All you need to do is go five, then you can put it on late. Well, let me ask you this. If you are hit – um, while your CX, let's see, IPC, no, that's minus no, one on no, your... No effect on morale or anything. Okay, then I'll just, let's just say it's there then. But, I, okay, but take, a, take a look um, Take a look at your guy at DD10, right? Um, I'm going to assume that he wants to go to, uh, I'm going to assume he wants to go here. Yeah, you're right. Yes. Okay, that's my assumption. 
okay take for instance let's let's take let's take this scenario uh i'm just going to copy this guy real quick i'm going to clone him this guy's a null this guy's a null unit first of all he's set up outside the normal bounds let's say this guy's mm -hmm. hidden right here right right and you see and, and this is your destination over here only five hexes away if you see x first you have six mf right right but you only need five Right. Well, let's take so let's let's take two examples. You CX first, you go one, oops, you go one, and your CX two, right? Mm -hmm. Three, I fire on you and pin you again, just like this guy down here. Okay? And you can't get to your destination. So darn it, where's that stupid pin? There you pin. So let's say I fire on you and you get pinned. Right. Your advanced fire phase comes along, you fire back at me, now you get my wall, my hedge, because I would have been hip and I pop out of hip and I, and I can obtain wall advantage out of hidden initiative placement. So I would have wall advantage and you would have a plus one because you're CX. So I'm plus one from wall, plus one CX, okay? But you didn't make it to your destination anyway. Well, let's take, for instance, the second scenario where you where that's all you want to do is five. So one, two, three three and let's say you go four then you go late cx then you make it there but let's okay, say you go well, one um, two three the same thing happens you get pinned but guess what you don't have the plus one hmm. because you could make you wanted to go here and then your destination was here and you could always declare your late cx at this point where you're safe and you were 100 percent chance of making it there do you see the difference I do. So that way it'll save, it could save you a plus one and a lot of times that's all you need. I mean, this guy's gone. Uh, I just want five, so we'll see. Yeah. All right. But so. the other guy made it over there, so there's, it's possible that he might make it there. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not guaranteeing anything. We'll, we'll find out. <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's a risk thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got 20 guys I anyway, just... so it doesn't matter. <laughs> That's 20. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four. Declaring CX. Okay. I'll put that on in a moment. Five. Right, gotcha. And you can uh, right click a unit and you can do it directly from there. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Or Control oh. X. You could highlight them in Control X or just right click them and do that. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So um, I actually had kind of a plan here and I'm trying to remember what it was. It's okay. I didn't have much of a plan, so if you have a plan, then you're way ahead of me. Well, sort of. Um, all right. Oh, my God. I feel like I'm going to be overwhelmed. Sorry? I feel like I'm going to be overwhelmed by your guys. There's just so many. There's <laughs> so many of them. You, you, you have only, like, three less than me. You Four don't see me. my you board. Got... <laughs> you don't see my board. Oh, okay, I got you. And I don't know where you are, so... Yeah, that's All the right, beauty. So that's the beauty. That's just... hmm. Oh, that's All right, this guy hasn't moved clearly. So, all right, let me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One, two. Four. Six. Okay, I'm going to declare CX on this guy. All right. Once again, taking risks. That didn't work quite the way I wanted to. That's One. Right. That's right. All right, you good? Two. Okay. Four and a half. Because it's one plus one and a half, so it's four and a half. All right. Six. What are you going to do about it? I know what you're going to do. You're going to fire at me. Oh, That'd my be, God. Go you want to. It's up to you. I've been rolling tens. I don't know if I want to do that. And you got other guys to move. Can I route? The, problem, the question I have to ask is, where can I route? I could just kind of go backwards. Huh? 
Because uh, you've got hindrance, so there's no um, interdiction, right? Right. So I can route, and uh, my essentially route path is pretty much anywhere I want to go, because I, I, I can avoid, I can't go to EE6 or E 5 because that'll be getting closer to your conscript unit. You, can you do BB6? BB6. Um, yeah, you couldn't do that because you're, you're not moving further away. Right, but that wouldn't be my destination. You have to choose a route destination. And if nothing's within sight, you can just route, essentially route wherever the heck you want. So what I will do is... Well, you can't do that yet, can you? Right, but I intend... I, it's, it's highly likely that I'll probably break. Well, what if you think... Yeah, you know, whatever my moves are might create an interdiction situation, so... Right. So, uh, you know, I will fire. I will fire upon you because I... I am... Where's my... Who am I? Am I the red? I am the red army, right? I'm the red army, and we have men in the red army. You do, uh, yeah. Unlike, unlike the KMTs, they don't have any men in the KMTs. They're just boys. They're small boys. So they, we're, they, they are boys. There's, there's a lot of conscripts in that army. So, right okay. there, you go. <laughs> See, I fired at the boys in the front, right. so I will fire point blank a two minus one, right? Right, minus it's uh, yeah two. You doubled. They double to six, but it, you're actually down to about three, two, two minus one. Go ahead. Right. So I'm going to fire two minus one, and it's going to double as a morale chart. So Boom. that will get a seven on the two chart, which is nothing, but I will break. Right. I'll delete that. And you broke. Oh, bummer. I actually meant to do that. That's a bummer. But I do leave residual. That's I right. the residual okay. of uh, one. one. And you never know when that's going to come in handy. Right. It does limit my movement. Right. Okay. Um, next move. Okay. Clearing. Um, and wait a minute. I'm gonna moving this guy up here into CC10. You can see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow me. One. Okay. Three point five. All right. I'm gonna snag myself another movement point. And move five. Yeah. Okay. That is legit. Okay. Now. Yeah, I just don't know quite what to do with this. And that's B zero if I did that. Man, this is crazy. But I don't know where the hell you are. <laughs> yeah, see that's that's I'm, kinda that, that curtails me. I'm right there. I'm it right there, right pause. in front of your face. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's the bait, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's exactly yeah. right. Oh, I'll get him. <laughs> I'm probably yeah. running right through my guys in that one we field in W8. All my guys are right there, all lined up for you. Yeah, actually, it's in DD9 and DD8, but I just walked right by them. Yeah, that's right. All right, so I'm moving this guy into U10. Okay. Three. Uh, what should I do? What should I do? All right. Bypass one. Oh, which sides? Nothing oh, required, okay. but oh, it, it matters. It makes a difference because you can do bypass one hex side. Or two hex sides. So you could be like on this one over here, on one, or you can go like one, like it kind of skirts like it goes there and there for one, or you can go one or skirt that and do one. You could do buy one one hex side or two hex sides. It could make a oh, difference. And that's why it lets me right, and that's why it lets me do that. So yeah. okay. It could make a difference. There we go. One. Okay. I'm not gonna fire. Mm. Three, uh, 
Yeah, that didn't mean to do that. Um, one. 3.5 and I'm moving into this X right here. Okay. Mm. You mean two and a half? Well, it's one and then it's an, it's another 1.5. So it's a total of 3.5. No, no. If I move into here. Oh, yeah. So it's one here, right? One for you 10. And it's one. And then right. another one and a half there. So one plus one and a half? It's 2.5. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, simple math. You're right. You're right. Okay. Not that I want so to bait you to move into U8 or anything like that, but you can make it the U8 yeah. if you wanted. I can. I can. Uh, which gives you an opportunity to fire at uh, six minus one. At least. Mm. That's right. That's right. You you could have me bore sighted. Well, that would reveal one of your guys, so I will do it. Nice. That's a guys of balls. All right, we will fire. Uh, six minus one, right? Yeah, we'll fire six Unless minus you... one. We'll fire that guy. Come on, baby. Oh, there Ow. we go. That's going to hurt. Ow. That's going to uh, hurt. That's a, uh, yeah, he's gone. Two. Oh, all right. So we got we to gotta put a little stack over here, so. We'll put a stack. Rat a tat 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 tat. tat. Boom, boom. Yeah, oh. Yo, where, where the, where's the kill stacks? Uh, the just, we'll just okay. put them on the counters. We'll just put them on the turn counters, turn markers. All right, all right, that, that's a good idea. All right, so, all right, so uh, I got you the first fire though. Yeah, you did. You absolutely did. Yeah. I'm worried about all the guys moving those woods. So that's pretty. Mm. Uh, instead of an eight chart, you're looking only looking at a six chart. So, but you know, when they get that close, you get you have to fire on them. <laughs> No, you're right. You're right. Actually, if two, three, if I jump in there, and I don't have the CX to do it, one, two, yeah, he's gonna be at a two minus one. Though if he rolls like that again, no, it'd be two plus one. Oh wait, three. Well, but actually what two is... even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you move into W nine okay. and the first fire guys fires again, it'll be a two even. No, no, one. It'll be a one even. Which is garbage. I'm not. I'm not going into. I'm talking about. I like go into V8. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Be a I two minus one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two. Yeah. Which is what I'll do, but um. And that would give you two minus one. Correct. So, are you gonna fire? <sighs> yeah. 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 Wow. Wow. Come on. And boom. Oh, close. Very close. Oh, that's a bad miss. <laughs> I right, put a residual there. And a residual of one? Yep. All right. And the other guys, in th the other 337s three won't fire at you. I have other targets to shoot at. Hopefully, other targets to shoot you at. You do? You do. That, that's, uh, okay. One, one, two, three. I don't think I've broken any of your units yet. Well, it's, you've been extraordinarily unlucky. Okay. I'm doing uh, bypass. Okay. One. Okay. Bypass. Two. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Well, I know you can't have anybody in this hex, the in the hex I'm in right now, yeah. because you can't set up there unless you moved them there. Eh. Right. But you wouldn't be hidden anymore, and you couldn't bore sight, so I doubt you did that. All right. Um, so what I I think let's see, if I go six, that'd be two, one. That'd be a six even shot on you, or twelve minus one. But the problem is, if, if you move adjacent. I can't fire again at the other location. So I'm going to switch it up. I will fire at him right there. Uh, from from the to the double three three sevens. Oh, right here? Okay. Yeah, these okay. guys here. So if you move adjacent to me, 
it's likely that you'll probably break and you just roll backwards. But the problem is that everyone gets to run in those woods pretty much unscathed, assuming I don't have anybody in W8 or X7. So, but we'll take that shot because if you if you survive that and if you move ahead anyway, then I get a free shot, another free shot instead of just one shot. So, that'll be a six even because you don't have the terrain effect modifier of the of the woods. And you get minus one for non-assault and plus one for the hindrance. So that's just straight up even. Right. And seven on the six chart is a hey morale check. I'll take it. All right. All right. And that will right, leave right. residual in the hex of. How much? Uh, you had six. Uh, half of that is three. Two. No, it's going to be less than that. It's going to be one because you got a hindrance. Correct. So it's one. All right. So morale check. Uh, no. Okay. So it's a normal. And I ELR I, I EL as well. Your ELR is. Three? No, you're okay. Your ELR is three, okay. so that's exactly what you needed to not fail. You have to fail more by your ELR. So your 10 is your essentially breaking point. Now, you're technically okay. still in bypass. So at the end of the movement phase, you'll occupy that hex. Okay. So um, So my, my next question about that is... Um, hmm. Hold on a sec. Well, we, we'll, we'll tackle that when we get to route phase. Okay. So like, if, so, like, you don't automatically jump into the hex right now. If I had other units that could fire on you, you'd still be in bypass. Okay. All right, so this right here, uh, this guy up here over X10, moving the whole stack. Okay. There's a leader there. Uh, now you might want to move your leader separately because you only have two. Right. Um, I'm. And I am kind of doing it. Well, okay. I know I don't have to because I keep forgetting about bypass. All right. Because that's not an SK thing. Right. Uh, right. Right. Uh, bypass. Here. For one, okay, no fire. I pass here. Sorry. Uh, and two. hold on, hold on, hold on. One, two, three, okay. So now, what and is I'm the range to that unit here. from Fang? You tell me what the range. Of, I'm sorry. If if my eight minus one to fire on that unit, what's the range? One, two, three, four. Correct, because I I trace it to the hex that you're bypassing, so he's not going to fire. Okay. All right, Sam, so I'm going to move here. You're going to enter the hex for four, right? Right. Okay, you're good. And I'm I'm stopped. And the and I'm going to move to All right, hold on. Got to get that right. 2 4 6, but you you know what my intent is there, so. Okay, there at 6, Actually, I will subsequent first fire this guy. The double stop. Okay. Cuz I want to break the leader. I want the leader to be broken. All right, fair enough. Good. Okay. So you tell me what the firepower is in the modifiers. All right. So you've got uh, mm -hmm. you got two threes there, right? Correct. So you have got uh, that's a two plus two because you got woods. That's plus one, and you got one hex of hindrance. That's another plus one. So it's two plus two. Are you moving? Oh wait, wait, wait. Oh, you're right. But there's more. There's more. You're halved. So you're only. Yeah, two. Okay. I am moving. I am. So you're looking at um, two plus one. Correct. All right. Yep. But I'm willing to take a shot because that's your only other leader. Okay. Six, seven, almost. Damn, almost got that pin task check on him. All right. But worth doing, right? And how much so residual do I leave? Uh, one. One, because I think it's just, I think it's just hindrance that you that shifts it. Okay, if it's so what, also, so what's my firepower? Sorry, go ahead. What's my firepower? Two, two. Oh, it's zero, because cool. you have it, and then so there's no resid. Correct. All right, thanks. Okay, still moving. Uh, 
Oh, at the end of its movement phase, so the DM, I think the DM unit at the end of its movement phase occupies the hex. Oh, okay. Just a stupid technicality. So if but... you got, okay, if you got somebody there, you might want to tell me now. Um... Oh, W nine? No, no, no. That's easy. That's too okay, far. Okay, you could. You could. That's right. That's too far. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Uh, that wasn't well placed. So, but I, if he was, I can do that. Okay. I am moving into the woods here. Okay. Three. Okay. Now, this stack right here. Two. Two, three, and it's actually supposed to be here. Oh, you know what I'm trying to do there. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. And four. And I will stop there because if I pop over here, it's plus one for the woods and plus one for this right mess right here. But you got this minus one right guy, guy right here, and I'm moving. One, two, three. So you'd be able to at least get a decent shot at me, and I don't want to give that to you. So. Right. So you so you moved right in that AA nine, right? Right. There's no resid there, is there? No. Is there? But but Fang will take a shot. Do you right. have a shot there? I have a shot there. I did not know that. Tell me why I have a shot there. Oh, I. Hmm. Tell me why. Tell me why you think I don't have a shot there. Well, I just didn't think you had a like a little. I didn't know if you could draw a line and unobstructed. I didn't think, well, okay, I screwed up, but I didn't think you could draw an unobstructed line from the center of your hex to the center of that hex. But apparently you can't. Oh, along the hex spine. Right. Now there's Damn a difference. Hex. There's a difference. There's a couple, there's a couple of hex spines. Um, drawing a, along the hex spine will give you the plus one hedge. Okay. And so you have yeah. the hedge that's adjacent to you directly south of you, right? And then you have the right. diagonal one. So you would get the hedge on that one. Now, for instance, if you don't want to move there, that's fine. I have no problem with that whatsoever. No, that's good. good. But if you if there were a hedge on your right-hand side between Z8 and your location, then that would be out of LOS because that because that other hedge, if you have like a triangle, you can't see Opposing units coming in, you can't see past that. It's 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 in the example. You can't see that because the other hedge that's on your immediate right side would be quote the completed hex, and therefore that other the little hex spine one would actually block LOS. It's kind of it doesn't happen all that often uh, because most I don't I don't think they design a lot of maps that way where they have a three pronger, but um. It can happen, but yeah, that's a clear LS. If you don't want, if you don't want to move it, that's fine by me because you thought, thought that was blocked. Then, um, then you can move. You can move somewhere else. If well, you... that that's how you learn, man. And I appreciate that. But uh, okay, well, it's not much um, of a fire chart, but I mean, I'm going to take a shot. Sure, it, you it, get plus one. Uh, it's they're not now because you have because I have some terrain in in my favor. You don't get the was it 
uh, FF moving in the open, but you do get the moving thing. Correct. So it's plus one, minus one, minus one. Correct. Because you got Captain uh, Lord Captain Fang there. Yeah. And so, so what's the fire? What's the fire chart? What are we looking at? What do you got in here? Is it two threes? Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's two minus one. Okay, gotcha. There you go. Which is still shit. <laughs> well, it's better than six. So uh, it's a six. That's a pin check, which is good. That's good. Sure, sure. Okay. So uh, let's do the officer first. Yep. He's an eight, right? So there you go, my piece friend. Piece of cake, piece of cake. All right. And then I will do the um, crew next. They're pinned. No, no, no. He's fine. Oh. He's fine. Only morale checks that are equal to your morale pin you. Pin test. Pin check. checks right, is right. you're either good or it's it's either below, it's either morale check or lower or above it. So you're fine. It's a zero. It's a zero or a one. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So the next one is uh, my squad, which is a seven. He's fine. So you're fine. No problem. And, and there is. Is that consider is the hex is the hedge considered a hindrance or a TEM? It that is a TEM. All right, so there's a one resid there. It doesn't matter much since I'm not gonna move, but it's still there. Or is that wrong? The hex sides reduce residual. So it's a hindrance. It, it kind oh, of acts as a hindrance, yes. It kind of acts. Okay, as a so it's so it's zero. Correct. Okay. But yeah, you don't have anybody else moves that early doesn't matter. And so all right, so that's it. Remove all residual, and remove. Uh, and so we go to. Oh wow, okay. Uh, Defensive fire. We are phase. on. Yeah, wow. Boom, boom, boom. Did this flip? There we go. Defensive fire phase. Now I can fire adjacent guys. Okay. Um, so I will fire the guy over here in the wall advantage on E8 on the left-hand side. He'll fire. Right, okay. Uh, two even because I've got the wall. A nine will get nothing. The guy in the middle is broken. Uh, this guy's... Final fired. Which one? The Are you guy. talking about the guy next? To the, yeah, V, uh, in the v, v something like that. Yeah. Be calm. Uh, now, he, he will fire. Is our final? Now, is this the one where you get? Oh the no, no, he's check? finaled. He can't fire. Sorry, my bad. He can't fire because he's finaled. Only first fired. If he was first fired, he'd be fine. But he's already fired twice. Right. I think. And. Uh, Fung could fire at the guy in where is that in AA8 couldn't he if he wanted to at half no because in, if once you enter the defensive fire phase the first fire units can only fire at adjacent units oh okay good to know final fire units can't fire at all and um, and since since I first fired at your leader that moved behind him the other mm -hmm. unit had already ended his movement, so I couldn't come back to him later at a later time and fire on him. I'd have to have a different target. So right. that's it for me. Now, wow, it's, I thought I would have more than that, but I don't. So now it's uh, your turn to fire back at me in the advanced fire phase. Okay. Actually, I'm just Well, the pickings are slim, but I might as well do it, right? Um, this right here. Uh, the guys in the B row, I am halved, so it's a one even. V V V T U. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, right next to him. V eight. Yeah, V eight to V seven. So I will uh, hold one, on. So far, far. No, it's one because I'm halved. And what else? Yeah. Actually, it's doubled because I'm adjacent. Correct. So it's two. Two even. So yeah, that's so a hindrance, but not a TEM. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing applies. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, there's no TEM and there's no hindrance. 
All right, so boom. seven on two. Ah, uh, no, but yeah, it's worth nice. doing. Well, pin tastic would have been actually a pin would have been really valuable there. Right. One plus two. It's not going to cower. You know what? I got nothing to lose except for rousing your sniper. So mm, um, that sniper's pretty close. He's pretty close to you. Yeah, he is. Uh, uh, yeah, but you know what? I'm that kind of guy. Um, oh, there you go. It's a three, right? Oh, what the hell? That's right. Yeah, so it's either, either, and it's not going to cower, so why not? So it's a two plus, actually, it's a two plus one. What you looking at? Actually, it's a one plus one. Just from here. Chung? From, yeah, X10 to uh, W7, it's one because it's halved. Yep. Plus one for hindrance, so it's one plus one. Correct. That's right, he won't cower. A four oh, will something. make a five. That five. is a pin task check, yes. The pin actually, wow. yeah. The pins will essentially just be a boom, boom, six, six. Those those are, for all intents and purposes, these are sniper rolls for you because you got nobody adjacent that you could jump into close combat. So what that does is generate sniper rolls, free sniper rolls. So very good. Very okay, good so shot. Do it. So it would have been better to shoot at the guy in you V7 because at least that could have, I could have, I could have pinned him. Right, 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 right. If you intended on jumping in close combat, pin. correct. You had a slight possibility of him pinning. But if he breaks, then he just runs away. But if you want to jump in close combat, you know. But that was a good shot because that's two guys. And if you got if you got a snake eyes or a three, two guys would break, you know. Right. So, but it's just, you know, whether you feel lucky or not. And so, you know, sometimes they take the long shots, sometimes they pay off, sometimes they don't. Right. All right, and you know, I could fire back. I can't fire the MMG, but one, two, three. I could fire back at one, two. No, I can't. Well, I could, but it's like quartered. So yes. what do I got here? Pardon me. <coughs> Sorry. One, two, three, four. Six, eight. Well, I could use the inherent firepower of the crew, but that's that's just, that's their quartered, so they don't do shit. So six, I could do a one. That's sniper bait, though, isn't it? There's no reason to do that. Yeah, it's one even. Right? Is that a one even shot? Yeah, it's a one even shot, right? One, two, three, so you have three, one and a quarter. It's one, but is it even? Because I don't have, a, that's a zero liter. Oh, that's right. It yeah, is but I'm not even. in any terrain. Yeah, I'm just in a wheat field. Why not? Okay. You know, I was actually about to roll physical dice. Whoa. Nah, nothing. But why not? <laughs> physical dice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, okay, but you know, here's I got a little fire group down here, don't I? Are these two guys these two guys are unbroken. So I could do two twos with no modifiers. Uh the guy in um A eight A eight and the guy in B B seven. I could fire those two as two shots with two modifiers. Oh sorry, oh with one modifier because of or CX, right? Right. Okay, so I might as well try it. I mean, really, that could actually be something. Are you gonna so fire it's two them plus one? Together or separately? Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna do it two separate because it only gives me like it the odds are better okay. if I do two it's two separate. Yeah, it's fine. So the first one, the guy on the right. So conscript. Okay. Yeah, nothing. The other guy? Nope. Okay. But why not? Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, all right. Let's see. He's doubled, but he's quartered. So he's got a one plus one. Uh, plus two, right? Because he's CX and he's got the terrain. Oh, that's right. I got right, the wall. Right. I forgot about that. So that's a, a one plus two. That is sniper bait right there, isn't that's it? That's major sniper bait. 
Eh, you know, so wait, if I activate him, he can he doesn't he can do anything anywhere. Okay, so that's right. not a good idea. All right. All right. So done. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. So then we go to route phase. So you route first. Now here here is my question. I've got one guy to route. Okay. Correct. Now I'm not. Does he doesn't have to route really? Correct. But he's vulnerable. Um, he's vul he's vulnerable to like you, you know you breaking him again basically. I, I don't know. Um, well, oh, think, of it, think of it this way. Um, let's say you don't move him, right? And you know what you're going to do in the advance phase. I can only, I'm just going to assume that all your guys are going to move forward, right? I'm just assuming that that may not be the case, but let's just assume all your guys are going to move forward. Would my guys waste their time firing on him to DM him again or fire on the guys adjacent to them? Ah, so okay. does so if, if there's any risk, if your guys, if like your three three seven in the right in front of that guy in the X in the V row, and the three three six didn't exist, yeah, I'd probably route him back. Because I don't have a lot of targets to shoot. But if I have a target rich environment, I'm much more likely to shoot one of your guys that are in my face than some DM guy that's just a 337 squad. Especially a conscript. Let's say if we were a conscript, he's never going to rally anyway. You know, so um, you could leave him there or you can route him back to X9. It's, it's, your, it's, your, it's your choice. Or anywhere, any, pretty much anywhere else about that if you want. But uh, for all intents and purposes, be like I said, because you got your meeting machine gun on the left-hand side, Fang will either fire at him or run the hell away. So he's not even looking at the broken unit. I'm not even looking at that guy. That guy's a non-issue for Fang. That's the least of my worries right now. And so um, he's pretty much safe to to be right there. And to be honest with you, if Fang wasn't there, I would just route him forward on top of the 7-0. You know, uh, technically that's forward, but it's just moving right next to him. He's not getting closer to anyone. Well, yeah, he, yeah, he wouldn't yeah, be he getting has, close to anyone. He's close to that guy's DM down here. Yeah, but he doesn't he's see still, him. He's broken. But he doesn't see him. Oh, that's right. He doesn't. So he's good. So he can move that one hex. So, okay. Okay. you know, Fine. that's one thing that you could think about. But he'll never rally anyway. He can be a three or something like that. But, but um, yeah, uh, for all intents and purposes, he's not in he's not in danger of being shot at again. I have much better targets to shoot at. Okay. All right, so I won't route him. I'll leave him there. Now, I know what you're doing. You're getting the hell out of there. Oh, yeah, I, I, I have to move. And so uh, I don't have a lot of a – lot of, so the nearest, the nearest in hexes – or nearest an MF would be EE6 or EE5 uh, because that's just the nearest an MF. So that would be one, three, four and a half, five. So that'd be seven and a half to go there, but that's still the nearest an MF. But it would be getting closer to your 336, so I can't even consider those as being route destinations. I can't go where your woods are on the top, so the only place I pretty much have to go is nothing else within 6 MF, so pretty much I can go wherever I want to. And so what I will do... As long as you don't get closer to me. Uh, right? Correct. So I'll go uh, one or one and a half. Uh, that's not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two and a half. And I think I can stay there to be honest, but he's dead. That's not going to rally whatsoever. Um, one aren't you supposed to, are you supposed to keep going until you get to a yeah but I can't reach anywhere so pretty much I can go anywhere oh right 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 I could just go one hex if I wanted to but it's one and a half two two and a half three four and we'll just go uh, five and a half okay And that's it for my guys. Now your advanced phase. All right.
I don't think you're going to stick around with that guy up right there. So I don't feel bad about moving him up like that. That's a six even chart, though. If I break you first, I don't have to run. <laughs> yeah, but, that's uh, going to hurt. But yeah, it's a it's a six to eight, the six versus eight. Well, actually, it's, the, it's the, it'll be the if you hit a hindrance. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I guess I might have See, a slight advantage of shooting first, but that's about it. But yeah, it's unlikely I'm going to stick around. Unless uh, I get stupid or do something weird. Or bait you. Maybe you got your guys in that Y7 that you think is going to be free maybe, clear. Maybe you're baiting me. That's yeah. right. Guy Y7, right? You, bite, you break fang, I run away, you walk right down the road, and bam, bam. Well, here you go, right here. And okay. I'm moving into close combat here. All right, that, that'll work. Predictable, but, you know, what the hell, right? That's okay. That's okay. All right, so. And Chung's good? Chung's buddy's okay? He's not going to move? Yeah, I don't want to move and I don't want to move right up into that uh, into the teeth there, you know. Right. So you, that, to no, give that you would be yeah, exactly that would be a bad choice because I could break him with one guy, and then move the other guy around and screw the broken unit up. So, oh yeah. right, right, cutting off route paths and all that. Right, stuff. right, okay, gotcha. And so yeah, because you don't know what's going to happen in that close combat, and neither do I. But if you move your other guy forward, he just becomes vulnerable to Fang and the whole nine yards. It would be worth my have... while to practically sacrifice two or three squads to kill your leader because you then you'd only have one rally leader so that right leader, and if you yeah and if if you killed the other guy then i'd be in all kinds of trouble yeah the, the yeah at that point you really wouldn't have any offensive capabilities you'd have to you have to like oh no i'd just be it'd be it'd be it'd be crazy but anyway it's very interesting so what do we got going on here we can remove the pin on the left hand side we'll go ahead and delete that and uh, right. we got some uh, interesting developments here. So we have a CC over here. Let me hold on. Let's, let's find that little CC there. I have no clue where that counter is. Uh, where the hell is that? Where do, oh, there's the duh. It's in the media column. It's right here. Uh, so we have one here. Boom. We got one close combat there. No, no, that's not right. One here. My bad. And then we right. also have one right here. Hey, buddy. Sorry, my dog. Hey, That's big right. man. How you doing? Oh, wait. Oh, there he is. It's the dog in my Facebook avatar. Hey, Tex. He came over to say hello. Hey, bud. <sighs> hey, Floppy. What's going on, man? Good dog. Good dog. I'll walk you after turn two, okay? So this guy is concealed. You you advanced into my hidden initial place guy's hex. Which well, oh, which one? Sorry. Right in BB6. Oh, ow. Which is the exact situation which I described over an FF6 that might occur, but nobody's in FF6. So, so we, we, um, so what do we do in B7? Okay, in B7, we do ambush rolls. Um, and they're dead even. When because, do you do ambush rolls? Oh, when you're going into a house or woods. Correct. Or? You got me. Concealed. Concealed. Concealed or hidden. Correct. So, no ambush in V7, but there is an ambush in the middle of the big weed field, the BB6. Ouch. Yeah. Okay. So, there's a difference. So, there's, there's no big deal there. So, we can resolve which whichever one you want to resolve for. We do the simple one first. That's a... Uh, let's, let's do the one on, the, on at V7 first. Okay. Okay. So it's just two straight die rolls, right? Correct. All right. So CC. All right, I'll go. Boom. Uh, no. Oh. Does that mean? Does that mean I can withdraw? <laughs> oh. Oh, that was that was shit. But that, yeah, that's, that's part of the game, man. <laughs> oh shit. Oh man. You don't mess around, do you, Greg? No, no, I don't. I don't. Okay, so Ow. you tell me what that twelve means. Well, let me pull out the rules here. I know it's not good. Let's see, I, I truly forgot. I think I break and go, and, and then I cry. And then I wet my pants, apparently. <laughs> A11.22. It actually got on a little thing right there. So that's a, whoever did that, it's pr pretty brilliant. A really nice little, really key there. A11.22. Oh, really? oh. Does it pop up on your screen right there? Yeah. I so, see it. So that's infiltration. No, so against an AFV, you'd be 
pretty much screwed. But check what that says. Let's say it's okay. momentarily suspended following your uh, two dice roll of two or twelve. Uh, provided right. nothing bad has happened, any infantry that rolls a two, so we're going to skip that. Any infantry attacked by a twelve, which would be me, may likewise withdraw from close combat immediately thereafter, assuming it has not been eliminated by that twelve. Okay. Yeah. So right now, before I attack you, that was your roll, so you got jacked. Now, now right now, I have to decide before my roll of whether or not I want to run away or not. And so what I will do is I will select that option to withdraw. Because you can just hammer me with a giant fire group right there. Yeah, I could I could hammer you a couple couple six no modifiers. Now that's a risk because I get a free shot out of five, right? Right. I got a free shot out of five, but I'd be locked in close combat. And to be honest with you. That wouldn't be that bad in that particular section. Um, and um, and actually might might want to do that. But uh, but I'm just going to withdraw for right now. I'm just going to withdraw for right now. Maybe I get a lucky shot. Only because your medium got into a, 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 a mean position that I might need every single squad available on that side. So I'm just going to withdraw because I can. And then, uh, and then we go to ambush over in BB6. Uh, yeah. So here's where the fun starts. Right. So I'll roll, and my what's my what's your modifier? What's my <coughs> modifier? Sorry. Um, my, oh, we do the ambush, so it's um. Let's see. Uh, I am. See, so you're minus two. It's minus two for you because you're concealed. Correct. And another minus one because I am CX. Correct. So it's minus three. Ouch. And if you were a conscript, right. what would that be? Another minus one. Correct. So I was hoping, well, not that the conscript was close, but if that conscript had jumped in there, that would be a minus four modifier for me, which is almost guaranteed. <laughs> right. So what, what, we're, what we're doing right now is we're rolling on single, we're doing a, a small DR. Single die roll. Ambush, right? Right. 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 So I've got, you got a four. And I got, uh, okay. Actually, so, one's, one is so, lower. So there won't be any zero. ambush. There won't be any ambush. That's that's okay. the best you could have. That's the best you could have rolled. So, right, so, um, you get to you get to yeah attack there. So what I could do is I could choose not to attack you, right, and keep my concealment, and then fire upon you in my phase with triple point blank fire. Or I could attack you. And lose my concealment, and just get the minus one for the for the CX. What do you have in that? I can't even see in there. What oh, I'm sorry. Have? He's a he's a three three seven. Yeah, they're all okay. All so my guys are the same. One. Okay, so that's yeah, just one. Just, so it'll be it'll be a uh, the, now you if you attack me, it'll be a one to two plus one. Because if I keep my concealment, you'll still be halved. Okay. So a one to two plus one on the close combat table. Is, so it's actually, it's not good. Right. That's, that is, let's see, where's my chart? Hey, bud. Uh, somebody wants his back scratched. Here you go, big man. All right, so it'd be, <laughs> it's essentially a, a, one, a one to four because I'm minus one, right? Uh, pretty so much, I'd yeah. So I'd have to get a three. So, I mean, I have no choice what to do, but you actually, I would personally, it seems to me, but you're too much. Well, actually, you've got a pretty good, you're, Wait, if you, it's only one to one for you. So let's see, triple point blank fire be eight. So you're you have a better chance. You have a an okay chance of killing me. It's like twenty five percent, but you have a really good chance of breaking me next turn. Right. So that's why I'm going to keep my concealment. And if I don't kill you in close combat, then both your guys can just jump. Well, essentially jump in there later, assuming we don't kill each other. My turn. And so that'd be really overwhelmed. So if I get your point blank, then at least I could break up those units and I've got the unit on the left hand side that might be able to help out a little bit too. Right. But we'll we'll see what's going on there. And whatever whatever else I can, you know, finagle up over there. So All right. So so let's say that I fire into that hex next turn. Correct. Um 
you know, if we're in close combat, so, you know, here, okay, I can, we can still be in close combat even if you're still concealed, right? right. So if I fire into the hex, it affects both of our guys, Correct. mine and yours. Yep. But most likely I'm going to fire, so I'm going to lose my concealment in the prep fire phase. I see. Okay. And then we'll be locked in melee after that because then we'll be in the same way. All right. All right, so we'll, uh, I'll go ahead and you know, see what I can do here. It's on a two or a three. Nope. Okay, good deal. All right, so nothing else. The thing else. is if you rolled a 12, I could just walk back out anyway. Right. So I like uh, two chances. So that's that's it for that. And um, so, yeah. And then that would be the Russian turn too. Do you want to do another turn? It is eleven forty-eight. Hmm. We can do another turn. At least, at least, at least a uh, half turn. We'll see what happens. I think it, it would go a little faster. So, all right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's yeah. Let's do another turn. Go ahead. Okay. So it's unmarked move on everybody, and uh, I have a rally. I have a, I have a self rally in AA three. So all this right. Is, this is my turn. Let's go with the uh, Where's my Maracha? Five, nothing. He's going to lose his DM status. And then that's it for my rallies. And, uh, oh, you could I have advanced self, Chong though. in there if you wished, you, if you wanted to. It's up to you. I'll give you that option. Advance Chong back to W9 it, if you wanted to rally, if your intent was to rally. Oh, I, you're very kind. Yes, I should have done that. Thank you. You don't have to move well, to 337 if you don't want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that'll at least give you a three right. to try and rally that guy. Okay, I appreciate that. Unless I get a twelve, <laughs> which is that, 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 I would laugh. I laugh at stuff like that. So no. Oh, very but close. I almost Four. Made, wow. Close. Almost, that right. was that was worth doing. Yeah. yeah. So I rip, the DM goes away, right? right? And what I usually do is I usually stack the broken unit on top, so so uh, you don't forget. Especially like in um, face to face, on Vazel you can just keep it expanded, so it's not that big a deal. But uh, face to face, I usually like to keep the broken guys on top. So that's oh, a cool rally, and then prep fire face. Okay, 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 okay. So let's start with the, let's start with the fun one. Let's start with the triple point blank fire in the hex. Yeah, that's kind of exciting. I'm kind of so interested. Just, I mean, I, it's honestly, just, some sometimes when I get nailed really bad and it's cool, I don't care. I no, mean, it's, it's still cool. It's, it's just, hey, a 10 is nothing. <laughs> but if I, yeah, yeah, so 10 is nothing. So that's an 8 even. Straight up is the best shot that everyone's had all day. Right. It's an 8 even. And that's what happens when uh, you <laughs> take risks. And you cower. You cower. Yeah, so it's garbage. So he's nothing. So he's prepped. And actually, it's just a melee now. So just. Wait, so wait, you, you, were, you were at 8, and you cowered, and it goes down to, oh, it's even. Right. Yeah. Okay. okay. So I needed a, I needed an eight to get a mirage check on you. It didn't even fall anything on the eight chart. So those guys are melee, and you're still CX. Right, everybody's CX until my movement phase, right? Uh, correct. Okay. So. All right. Um, but he can't fire back at me, but the other guys could. So other guys right. prep firing. Holy moly! Okay, the wall advantage guy will fire point blank. Why not? Oh yeah, why not? Right. I mean, that's a, that's a six six even shot, right? Uh, so we'll hit fire. Oof! Another ten. No tens. Now you get to fire back me with real firepower. Okay, we're getting desperate. Got that other medium machine gun somewhere. Yeah. Oh, thank. To fire or not to fire? That's a that's a juicy shot. Uh, but we're pretty much a coward. We're pretty much a coward over there. So what we will do is um,
Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Let's, uh, I gotta figure out which guy's gonna fire. Which guy's gonna fire. That's a chance. That, oh my gosh, yes. There's, there's, there are chances here. There are things that may come to pass which are not good. Six, eight. Uh, I'll, I'll, I think I'll take that. Hmm. It's risky. Do you want to do it? Do you not want to do it? Got one of my officers there and my medium machine gun. Oh my gosh. A big fat yeah. medium is just in the way. Just in the way. So we will. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it. This is, it's an easy decision. So we're going to blast this guy. We're going to blast. We're no 16. more 10s. We're done. We're done with the 10s. Okay. No more 10s. We're going to blast this guy with a 12 chart. Just that, that stack right there is going to 12 chart the guy right next to him. In V7. Oh, where, where are we? Oh, that's. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's okay. That's what V7 I and yeah. V7. That's going to be a 12 chart. Just, just point blank that guy straight up. And bam. So I'll take a six on the 12, which would be a two morale check. Okay. Five, so six, he's seven, eight, nine, and that is your ELR is three. Yeah. So you, so five. No, no, it's, it's two. two. Oh, hold on, sorry. But it's, it's on, on my, my sniper. sniper, three, three. Okay. okay. Yeah, so, so you failed your ELR by one. So he, now he's a conscript unit. No, I rolled a nine, right? Right. In my morale is seven. But you need a oh, five to pass. Five. Right. 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 Okay, so let's see. I got to break him. Well, I'll just take him off the board and put a broken con conscript there. No, you could, you, could, so you, could, you could actually heat a battle and then do ELR. So just. You don't have to remove him. Yeah, yeah, just heat ELR and he'll drop down. Yeah, but I need to replace him, don't I? Yeah. Right-click on him okay, and hit heat a battle, and then hit ELR, and it will replace the unit. Oh, really? How yeah. cool was that? Okay. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, wait. I blew the chance there, though. How do I flip him back? Just a break. Hit break again. I can't. Oh, well, hold on. There we go. Oh, there it is. Sweet. Heat a battle. Look at you. Mm. Uh, it may not work while he's broken, so you have to unbreak him. Yeah, there we go. Hey, babe. Battle. So uh, it should Yellow. go on. There, we go. there you go. And now you can break. Oh, that is so cool. Man, I don't know why I was so afraid of Vassal. Anyway. And so he's right. in V7. He's in V7. Oh, that's right. We just, I moved him for convenience. Sorry about that. All right, that so he's movie. back. Okay. Um, all and right. So, so is, that, is Fung going to fire or is he going to? Uh, not yet. Doing? But I will reveal this unit here. Ow, okay. And he'll fire point blank, six even. All right. Oh, damn it. I needed that. <laughs> okay, that's uh, no effect. And, uh, and this guy will fire as well. Is another, he, oh, he was hidden too? Yeah, another six even. All right, so he was hidden as well. Okay, so have you revealed all your hidden units? I think uh, you have. Not all of them. Not all of them. That's a morale check. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, he's in a world of hurt. So what happens to him? Uh, Jesus Christ. I don't know. Wait, does he half step? Uh, well, he... Made his ELR, so he's just fine. He's just broken. But if he gotcha. failed his ELR, what would happen to him? Actually, for conscripts, I don't know. That's not that's not a starter kit thing. What they happens? would become disrupted. So he couldn't route unless he's adjacent to an enemy unit. And uh, I'll get the counter. Disrupted is like one of the most beautiful counters in the, in the game. Uh, where is it? Right here. Boom. No normal route. You can't self-rally, and you do not impose movement restrictions on units. So people can just walk right through your hex. Oh, wow. 
So uh, that would that would be disruptions really bad, really really bad. And so um, okay, but he's not because he made exactly what he needed to, to make. So that's basically at the bottom of the route chain. Correct. Yes. That's okay. That's big time. So those guys fired. Uh, psh, he fired, and that's it for firing. We're gonna go to movement phase. And um, <coughs> uh, we're gonna go one with Shen. Okay. And then we're gonna go two with Shen. Oh, I'm sorry, one and a half, three. Okay. Um, now I'm not doing anything with him. Okay. And um, he needs to stay. Oh, I see while. what you're doing. Yeah, the problem is... You're cutting off his route path. Yeah, right? I'm trying to. Trying to. Trying to. It may not work, but I'm trying to. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to be rough. All right, this unit will move... Yeah, that 336 is a pain in the butt. Hmm. Um. At yeah. this stage, I could route into w8 or v8 right because it doesn't bring me any closer no you can't or route that... adjacent to an enemy unit and both of those would be adjacent okay. the only way you can route adjacent to an enemy unit is leaving uh withdrawing from melee or routing away from right like a tanks in your hex so basically unless i unless i do something with shen then those guys are dead. Correct. Or W7. You can do something to W7, at least one of those guys. Yeah, Shen, but the, uh, yeah, because I would have to route first. But being broken, I wouldn't have to, yeah. I don't think I have to route if I'm adjacent to a broken unit, I don't think. I think you do. I think it doesn't matter whether the unit's broken or not. If disrupted, you're right, but... Um... It's just enemy unit. No, but I think, I, I, by, by all means, look that up. But I, I think I saw Perry say something about that once. Yes. I think I may have even asked the question. I was but, watching, but please check. Yeah, I was watching some guys the other day. And um, and it came up, and they were both DM'd right next to one another. And there were no other units in those hexes. So let me see. Hold on. Where's the broken? We're routing right around this. Come on, fire defensive bomb. I morale. think perhaps the, the thing we're looking for is known enemy unit. That's in that that's an open ground. You can't remain in open ground in a normal range and LOS of a known enemy unit. Uh or let's see. Nor may it end its route phase adjacent to or in the same location with a known enemy unit that is both unbroken and armed. Oh, I see. So if I'm in normal range in open ground, you have to route. But if you if you start adjacent to a broken unit, neither of you have to route. But normally they do because usually there's somebody in there. Okay. But um Yeah, that, that's that'll be yeah, that's kinda different, huh? 
how can you even do anything then at that point, right? The, my only, um, well, gosh, yeah. I, mm. In this case, because need, none of us have to route. Uh, well, uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Two, of my, two of my guys have to route because I'm next to right, 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 right. That's right. Now you'd have to break. Yeah, you're. Those guys are pretty much screwed. Be, uh, yeah, they'd have to. Yeah, okay. So in this case, I was going to move V6 away, but I'm not going to move V6 away. Wow. Yeah, those guys are gone. Okay. Yeah, they're they're going to be. Wow. Well, we'll take a look at that in just a second. What's up, babe? That's no problem. No, no, I, I can. There's, there's unless even if, unless I break I that guy, and that's pretty unlikely. Um, they're done for. That's interesting. All right, well, live and learn. Okay. Was it good? Um, you got, yeah, it was really good. Okay, so um, I got another movement. Uh, let's right. see. If you break that guy, he's not much. You can break him pretty easily, but I wouldn't have to route him. But if I don't route him, you're just gonna kill him next turn. So. All right, let's do something weird. Hmm. Let's go assault move right here. Okay, I am going to fire, of course. Well, hmm. Should I? That would allow you to move Fung out Y5. Or, yeah, Y5. You know what, though? Mm. You can't move any closer, or I can shoot at you. So I'm going to go ahead and take the shot. I mean, one, two, three. It's still minus one. Right. Because you're moving. And it's four. <sighs> one, two, three. That's eight. Eight minus one. That's not bad. I'm going to take it. Okay. The big stack? Yep. Okay. Ouch. Yeah. Whew. Two morale check. Good thing I didn't run. Okay. So he's got a two morale check and six. He barely broke, but he did break. Oh, and that's how much residual? Because your machine gun lost its rate of fire, you can leave residual with the machine gun. Well, what's my rate? Oh, I just I got three. Yeah. Um, so it's four. All right. Mm. It does allow you to get away, though. Yeah. And so you first fired, so you can't fire. Let's go. Uh... Huh. I can't move there, actually. So we're going to go uh, one and a half. Into X5. Okay. Is it good? Yeah, I can't shoot at him. Uh, you got a conscript in um, AA7 that has LOS one. Oh, right, right, right. It's one, two, three. And you got the guy at X8 too as well. And he's, he's moving normally. Hold on, X8. No, X8, I'm saving him for. Okay. At least, you know, trying to get. All right. So, okay. uh, um, all right. I, I'm going to I'm gonna shoot with the. Because I really, you know, I've got pretty much nothing to lose. Um, it'll be uh, one. Plus one, 
actually one even from because, uh, from the guy in uh, a a9 okay you got one hindrance um, but you're moving so it's even it's one do you have an LOS There's in that no... location it's not down the spine so it might be close uh, yeah I'm pretty sure from a a9 all right to x5 hold on oh, I'm sorry I meant my bad a a7 Oh, the conscript. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. All right, so it's uh, oh. one, even. One plus minus. That's minus one, one for a hindrance. Minor one, minus one for moving. Plus one for hindrance. And plus right. one for. Oh, CX. That's right. 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 Still worth. That's that's worth doing though. All right, so. Uh, four, five. Four, one, four, five. Pin test check. Okay. Well, that might do it. Okay, so he's pinned. Damn, I needed him to move a little bit more. <laughs> and he's first fired. All right. Looking. Oh, ding. I was looking for the right counter for that. But That's so fine. Uh, do you have them on the top of your chart on the top of the thingy? I do. I do. Okay. I was looking for a way. Um, uh, well, yeah, but that works. I yeah, can you can right click them or control. There's control. I never use the control mark because I just mm -hmm. I just click and. Well, that's fine. So, um, huh. That's not fun. He can't move very far now. I don't want that to happen because that would be bad news. Uh, hmm. Yeah, uh, this unit will move one and a half. Okay. You're probably not going to fire yeah. on him. Three. No. Uh, there's still nobody can fire at him at this, except for dude across the way. There's no reason to do that. So. Right, and then we'll go. Four. All right. Right. And bang, we'll go. One and a half. Can I take a shot at him a subsequent? No, nah, there's nothing there. That would be quartered. Yeah, that and would be. From subsequent from so whom? Happens. Well, this guy right here from AA9, it's the same distance. It's not farther away than my last shot. So I could take a shot if I had any firepower factors at the end of all that. Because uh, he's the same distance, right? What do you mean AA9? AA9 hasn't fired yet. I oh, sorry, A seven. Uh, oh, A seven. There's a bad guy right next to him. Oh, that's right. Of course. Yeah, in the melee, so he's going to be restricted by that fire, so he can't fire at him. And your medium has two units that are closer to him. Closer. A nine right. might be able to see him. It's going to be close, but he he could fire. And of course, your X eight guys, which are going to save them. Right. So. It's up to you to if you wanted to decide to fire the A and nine guy or not. There's no reason not to. Let's see if it. Let's do a check here. Okay. And I have to do the first fire right. L O S. It's red. I can do it. But I've got two hindrance. But what the hell, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So it would be a one. Damn, that's a plus. shot, huh? Holy smoke, I didn't think you'd hit that. One plus two. But right. why not? Yeah, that's a one. Uh, is it plus two? Yeah, because you got, there's, it goes through. Um, yeah, I'm going through two. Uh, I'm going through two um, hindrances. But what else? The what hex, oh, the wall. Okay, so it's plus three. No, 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 no. The wall doesn't matter because I'm not adjacent to it, so I don't get the wall. And you're actually okay. not. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. It's plus two, right? What am I doing? Oh, you're moving. Right. Thank you. Plus one. Yeah. So it's actually not a bad shot. So it's one plus one. Why not? Yep. Oh my god! But he cowers. Crow cowers <laughs> off the chart, right? 
All right. So and he's final. All right. right. And he's final fired. So he's final. Okay. Yeah. All right. There we go. So yeah, it actually wasn't a bad shot. I didn't think he'd have the LS to be honest. So um, all right. So he'll go one and a half, and then. Heck, he could just go this way. Uh, two, three and a half. Oh, I'm sorry. Two and a half, four, five and a half. All right. Right. And then um, that's it for my movement. Defensive fire phase. That was some crazy shit going on that turn. All right. So, of course, I'm going to try from here. From uh, X8 to U8. Okay. That's uh, three, two, uh, one, two, plus two. So nine, nothing. Okay. All right. Um, let's go over to well, here to uh, F8. Point blank into. Oh, right, right, the uh, conscript. Right. So that's six plus one plus two. Six plus two. Correct. No. And, then, and I cowered a boot. Oh, it's that's a double cute. cower. Yeah. That's right. You. All right. So, um, but I do have my friends over here. I could form a fire group. So let's find a fire. I could form a little fire group here. Right. Of six plus two. So why not? Count them. One, two. Oh, three. Because I am um, CX. So it's plus three. Six plus three. Right. Because you got a hedge, right? You get you got the CX. hedge. You got the brush. And you got the brush because one of them hits the brush where the other one doesn't. Right. So you have to count it. Right. What I was missing there was the CC. So that's plus uh, six plus three. Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Holy shit. Six. That's like a result. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's a sniper <laughs> check for me, though. Oh, I'm going to lose a guy. I might get a sniper. Oh, shit. I didn't oh, think, well, man. He's going to die if he fails. Well, I've, I've never seen sniper before, so that's a good thing. Damn. <laughs> Ah, damn, that's a good shot. I thought that guy was going to be a pain in your ass for like a turn or two. He's going to be dead. Come on. Yeah, that's your luck. So I'm going to put my final fires on here. Oh, my gosh. Let's go. So that's a one morale check. I need a six. Ah, oh, God. Ah. Ugh. So right, happen right now what happens, I'm not good order. So I'm broken. And if there were any, if there were... Let's say I had a unit. Uh, let me clone this guy real quick. If I had a unit here, and since I've got, I was broken, I would lose wall advantage to you in the three three six. So at that point, you could immediately claim wall advantage, and then if the unit like in DD seven were to fire upon you, then you'd get the wall, then you get the hedge and the hindrance. That would immediately flip to your to your. You immediately claim at that point. So just a wall advantage, a little bullshit going on there. Okay. So, but uh, yeah, you'd have to read that a thousand times. Everyone's everyone still has questions on wall advantage, so never be afraid of asking garbage questions about wall advantage. There's a lot of weird stuff happening. So anyway, man, I, oh my god, he's gone. He is gone. Damn. He can't. He can't, he can't really go anywhere, anywhere, can he? Yeah, he's screwed. He has to. Um, yeah, he's done. He's donezo. All right. Uh, any other fire? Oh uh, yeah, you got a uh, you got CC seven. Is the only guy that hasn't fired. Yeah. Um, actually, no. Oh, it's plus two, three plus two. Oh, sniper! Don't forget about the sniper. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah my bad. Uh, sniper is boom. Nothing. He's sleeping. Okay. What did? Okay. So when you do that, tell me what you just did. Uh, roll a die roll I've never done sniper. for sniper never, activation. Yeah. Okay, so sniper I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sniper gets rolled. So after you resolve, and a lot of guys jump the gun on this, 
after you resolve everything that the sniper roll did, right? So say say you attacked a stack of dudes and uh or whatever. No, wait, wait, just for instance, you fire on my guy and I get a sniper roll, right? And then I you resolve all of the effects of the of the role that generated the sniper before you do the sniper role, because things okay. can happen where uh, somebody can heat a battle and his morale go up. Uh, guys would, you know, leader would break and you got 12 guys doing leader lost morale checks, leader lost task checks. You resolve all that crap before you get to the sniper role. Now, mind you, when you resolve all that crap, I may roll your sniper two or three times. And so you got to keep track of how many snipers you're due because my sniper roll occurs first, then your sniper rolls occur after, during that melee or morale check or whatever. You know, you resolve everything that that dice roll does before you get to the sniper roll and vice versa. Okay. So uh, a lot of guys will jump to the gun and roll a sniper before they like roll leader loss morale checks and things like that or wound die rolls and and a whole bunch of other stuff because um you like like for instance like a wound die roll if you roll snake eyes or whatever you activate my sniper and i roll my sniper first um you know you know my whole stack may be dead first you know I, my leader could do a casual reduction and take a wound and die and just lots of things so just resolve what you're doing first and then move on to your sniper. He's still going to be waiting for you. So, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's, 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 oh, he's done so. So, and then, yeah, so I'm you sorry. Need to, you need to three or lower on that to activate him? I, I mean, know, I'm I, sorry, I yeah, 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 my bad. Uh, so, yeah, if you go on the sniper, a one or a two will activate a sniper. Oh, okay, okay. And then uh, one thing you do is, is when the sniper is activated... Um, you have decisions. You still have decisions to make. If the sniper gets activated, you could then take that result and resolve the sniper. Or, if you've activated a sniper, you can then take your sniper counter and place him anywhere on the board as long as it maintains the same, you know, place within six six uh, locations of enemy units. So if you roll that sniper and say my sniper were like, let's say, so he's in Y7, right? Say my sniper were way over here, right? In the bottom right corner. I can forego, let's say I roll my sniper activation number and he gets activated, right? I can forego right. the direction extent roll and I could just replace him somewhere else so I can put him like back over here. And then nothing else happens. I don't get to roll for him. Or I can roll and then he'd be, he'd go direction extent so if he if he had a sniper, I'd go direction extent three three six. So he'd go three, and then he go one two, and he'd be off the board by five. So he'd be right here. And then what happens is he targets the nearest unit. And then if there are two units that are nearest, then you choose the one with the lowest in hex tem. And then he would be the target. So pretty much, if my sniper was down here, the only target I would have was like this guy. But if he's going to die anyway, why would I want to pin my sniper over here? I might want to relocate him like over here where all the hot spots going to be. Right. So you can relocate on an activated sniper or you can just do the sniper roll and see if he kill, you know, see where he goes because that's a random that's a random extent. So a lot of guys a lot of guys never replace the sniper and sometimes it's better, especially if your sniper's like a 4, 5 or 6 or 7, put him in a better spot because those numbers will come up a lot more often. Twos even even so, maybe a two, but usually it's it's dense enough where the two is going to pop somebody. So, yeah, interesting. Well, Very two and cool. two and a three has the same chance anyway. Because uh, there's only one roll out of thirty six that's going to get a three, and there's only one roll out of thirty six that's going to get it. Well, no, there's no, two two for three, one for there's two. two. Yeah, one or two or two or one. Right? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, they're pretty damn low. So uh, the only guy you haven't fired is um, CC seven. And that's a decision that you have to think about whether you want to fire in that melee or not. No, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, that's a, that's a smart decision, I think. Because you could just reinforce it later if you need to. Yeah, okay. I'm going to pile on it there and make it miserable. All right. Um, 
so it's a uh, advanced fire phase so we'll remove all defensive fire counters advanced fire phase I have none and route phase so I have to route website can be the for the preps I have to route first and uh, the unit right here in Z5 his nearest uh, woods buildings within six mf is nothing so he can route pretty much any direction he wants he's going to route here to avoid any possible interdiction and then here and then here okay okay and then this guy over here he can't remain adjacent to you he can't go to dd8 or dd7 because it's going to a closest enemy unit so he's eliminated for failure to route and these two on the right in V7 and T7 are eliminated for failure to route. Right, right. Okay. And that, there's a difference between failure to route or being surrendering. And since they can't, they, they have no route path to take, that's failure to route. If they had a route path they could take but be subject to interdiction, that would be surrender. The surrender rule would come in play. So surrender gives you prisoners. Are those more valuable? Um, I think in this, guard them? In, in this game, I don't think prisoners counts double. But yes, they would. Normally, at the end of the game, prisoners would typically count double unless the scenario special rule says otherwise. I think it would because uh, isn't isn't that the whole point of this exercise? You're trying um, to get – this is the recruiting uh, – what's it called? Recruiting method? I think it's just to kill guys, to be honest with you. But uh, I think they have a mention. They have a mention of prisoners. They do have a mention of prisoners, in in there. Let's see. With a lot of the wheat fields and stuff, it's honestly going to be difficult to get prisoners. Well, you know what? It'll yeah. be like an it'll be like an LM two. Hold on. Uh, I'm no, sorry. It's the points. Okay. It's the way they do right, the points, so, uh, and I'm not sure where they are. I can look that up, but yeah. But yeah, I think right, I remember seeing somewhere where the prisoners don't count double. Okay, but y'all yeah, look so it up, but it doesn't matter. But yeah, at this point, we, we, we don't have access to prisoners, so both those guys just die. They're all gone. Uh, damn it. Okay, well, that's there it is. All right, so we are now in the... No, and then I get to advance. I'm sorry, I'm getting advanced. Right, right. And so we gotta get the, oh, we get Shin the hell out of there. <laughs> right. And then these guys, uh, he's gonna back up just a little bit because I don't like that. Um, I don't like that eight plus one. And he's going to advance there. And he's going to the leader will advance. Oops. Fang will advance under here. And that's it for my advances. Actually, these guys will. Uh, one guy will pop under Shen, and the other guy will. Um, the other guy will move down, and that's it. And then, uh, close combat phase is our little melee right there. And so, I'll be a one to one minus one. You're a one to one plus one. That's pretty straightforward. Let's see, hand to hand All kill. Right. Is it not applicable? I'm not sure if we do hand to hand for us. I'm not sure. I lost you there. The hand-to-hand -hand kill numbers. Sometimes right. um, nationalities have to go in in hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat. Oh right, I, that's something. I'm just, that's that's all new to me. Yeah, that's that's PTO. That's pretty much PTO stuff. So let me let me double check that real quick. Because plus the Chinese, Japanese are automatic, but Chinese might be different. Do you like playing PTO? Um, it's a different game. It really is a different game. Uh, the Japanese don't break; they just reduce. And yeah, so they, they step reduce. Yeah, so they keep coming at you. So you still got firepower, so it's um, it's it's difficult. But you lose leaders very fast to the Japanese. That's what the uh, that's what the Chinese do in uh, Forgotten War. They step reduce. Oh really? Oh wow! Yeah, yeah it's, it's mean, crazy. That, that, I you know once I get some kind of grasp on this game, I'd like to try that. I'm really interested in the Korean War. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm really interested in all of this. This is 
it's the story is most important to me probably because i just it's all i ever read or listen to yeah absolutely and then you're just kind of recreating some of it it's, it's, it, it makes it it brings it alive it does yeah and that's why I, and that's where i do my when i do my um replays and i read up a little bit of history of the replays and i and i look on the maps where these fights actually happen and, and then i just go to those little towns and have a look look sees like this is actually where these fights happen instead of just being a piece of paper and some random boards that don't mean anything you know they are their right. actual locations and their actual history that's written about these guys so let me see about the close combat i know there's daredevil and you could technically go here uh, chinese can make human wave attacks just as if they were russians but um, i had a bunch of hidden guys and you probably didn't want to do that anyway so far um uh, dare death multi-man counters not available in this scenario all right okay yep so that doesn't apply and <clears throat> that's i think it's about it okay so it's just straight yeah. up dare death multi-man counters uh enter into and resolve hand-to-hand -hand close combat as if they were japanese so uh but that doesn't apply all right so this this is a one-to-one -one, right yeah, one to one minus so one for you, me, one to one plus one for you. You need a six, I need a four. Okay. Right. And if I roll my 12, you can run away. Uh -huh. And we're... Nope. Okay. Ah, I got lucky. Got <laughs> well, that's all right. All right, so now, this means I can just shoot at you next turn. That makes right. me happy. Yeah, he's still in a Which world you... of hurt. He's still in a world of... I had to get lucky on that one there. So, But he's still well, in a world that... of hurt. That's cool. So, all right, you've got him over here. All right. Yeah, Ouch. and that's why I moved that, that guy a... to X3, and I moved my leader and those other guys to try and get across the road, because if he breaks, then you've got a whole bunch of guys on that side of the road that can just be troublesome, to say the least. Well, well um, it was a bad turn for uh, Shanghai Shek, so. Oh, my goodness. Uh... That's crazy. All right, well, no, no, that was that was kind of a crazy turn. All right, so now. Um, where were we? All right, so it's my turn now. Right. And I'm going to try to rally. We can all try to rally. Yeah, um, yep, yep. Try this dude here. Uh, it's it's plus one because I'm in woods. So seven or below. Correct. So yep. he's good. That's very good. Gives you some good. Wow, it's good fire. Wow. Yeah. It, so it, well, it's it's a start. You know. Um. Let's see. How do I? Um, oh, this pin's gone. Yeah, I'm looking for the how to unbreak here. Hold on. Uh, uh, you can click on them and just press break again. The break. There we go. All right. So very cool. Very cool. That was a good roll. That's what you needed. Definitely what you needed. All right, and and that's it. So you can try to. Okay. So uh, you guys down. Uh, Fang down here in the bottom or Fong. Uh, we'll go the unbroken, the undm unit first. Uh, no rally bonus terrain, so it's just base six. So he needs no, you a... got minus one, dude. Yeah, but yeah, but that's seven what he needs to modify. But he doesn't get a bonus terrain. So he okay. needs a seven. So that's a, I think it's a rally. So an eight fails. The unit below him needs a three. Oh, damn, that's close. Damn, don't that you, don't you Don't you love it when you, I, you know, have you ever self-rallied a DM guy, like right when you needed it? Oh, my God. That, I, it's I, a special I, feeling. I did this. I, um, conscript. I had a conscript unit. If you um, um, it's in my it's in it's in one of my replays. It was so brutal. Uh, God dang it! What replay was it? Number. It's where the Italians are coming across the bridge and the Russians are there. I'm not sure if you, it's in one of my replays. Anyway, I had a broken conscript squad that was DM'd. He was adjacent to me, right? So that's the only guy I self rallied because everyone else was disrupted. I roll snake eyes, so it's leader creation. So he pops up, pops a leader, and breaks the guy adjacent to him. <laughs> uh. And then he and then he was screwed because he couldn't route anywhere. So he lost that. He got he surrendered. <laughs> oh, it was really. But yeah, it's it happens, and it's really fun, and you never forget those times. But yeah, that's. But it's like, it's like snake eyes will come, but like the the twelves will come just as good. The twelves are just as bitter, as the as the twos are sweet. So. And uh, I have That's a feeling that the these game, uh, right? one of these snipers is going to make an impact some at the most inopportune time. So and then uh, prep fire phase right, unless so you have rally. any rallies. Prep I don't fire. think you can. Um, 
I don't think you could deploy, to be honest. But um, you might. Now, and and I'll be honest with you that I know there are tactical reasons to do that, and there are good tactical reasons to do that. I don't know what they are, right. so it's not likely to happen. All right, so I'm going to um, prep, and I'm going to fire at. Uh, well, I mean, why not, right? I'm going to fire at this clown right here. I've got two sixes, uh, plus one. Okay. Which one do you want to do first? Uh, the one in uh, AA. No, I'm going to do the one in CC9 first. Okay. Uh, CC8? CC. No, oh, he's in CC. CC7. Okay, gotcha. All right, I'll put a prep on him. Thank you. No. And the other guy. Okay. Okay. Oh, There's your man. sniper again. There's that's your sniper probably a conscript, no less. Holy crap. So that's a four, holy moly, four on the six. So that's a two morale track. And he's, oh, he's pinned. He's okay, but he's pinned, which means he's probably going to die anyway. <laughs> so that's probably worse. The, 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 my guys are hungry. I, I have dinner now, and I'm pretty pleased about that. Okay, this situation here is where he would voluntarily break. Route. And then route away. Because you're going to lose your CX, and then you're going to jump him. It's not going to be any ambush, and it's going to be at least two to one, assuming nobody else gets near that location. So that's a possibility that he may pursue. Three, four, and uh, but his nearest route look, yeah, his nearest route location is, and yeah, an MF is is uh, EE five. He won't be able to make it there one route, but you know that's that that's. The things that you're looking at he could voluntarily break or he could stay there and see what happens but uh but i can't do anything until later so right there's your preps okay and i'm just going to remove the your... cx's now because you're not going to be moving okay let's not forget about your sniper oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. oh getting closer he's waking up no he's just biding his time he's waiting for a shot <laughs> That's right. Okay. So I don't have uh, I don't have any other prep. Okay. All right. So we we don't move the CXs till the end of movement, right? So um, those step those stay on, right? Right. Well technically you remove it at the beginning of movement, but you, you just leave it on there for right now. So as soon as you start moving you just remove it. It's pretty easy to remember that he was already CX. All right, so well, or what you could do, technically what you could do like in Valsa, say if you move the FF6 guy, then you just leave the CX where he was, and then you can just remove okay. that later. But whatever whatever convention you want to use, but usually it's not a problem. Usually it's not a problem just to remove it and then just move it. All right, so I'm moving this clown here in, uh, that's W9. W9, W9. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 the guy you rallied, yeah, yeah. Okay. Take a shot. Uh, no, it's good. All right. So I got right here in W8. I'm sorry, X8. Hmm, that makes it a harder shot. That's actually a good spot to move. Uh, no fire. This giant cluster right here. I wouldn't say I'm proud of myself, but I actually did something intentionally that made this move possible. Okay. Ouch. There you go. Well, yeah, you're still picking up guys. What? I'm not sure what the deal is with that. I I, I don't know either. It shouldn't, uh, let me go it ahead shouldn't pick them this. up. That's just weird. It shouldn't pick them up. Oh, prep fire dude right okay, here. Okay, yeah. Mine, mine are not picking them up. Not... Do you highlight the whole thing again when you're moving it? Do you, like, put your I, body... If I do, I don't need to. Okay. Like, well, as soon as you highlight it, like... Well, maybe I... Yeah, as soon as you get your stack moving, 
just all you do is click and hold the stack i don't know if i don't know if you're making a box around again to move it again or just moving the whole stack maybe i am uh, if i am i don't i'm not intending yeah. to but it's yeah, i'm not sure so yeah so he's i will hold on i guess so far so AA, and so you move to a7 right the big stack right. moved to a7 right there right the pin guy can still fire and he will fire right there okay so he will first fire uh it's going to be doubled in halves since he's pinned and so, it'll be so two and then what modifiers am i looking at minus one right so it's two minus one okay. This could get ugly, but yeah, it could get ugly. Probably not, but that's a four, four on the two. Yeah, it's a one morale check. It could get ugly. Ouch. Okay, okay so, so officer, officer first. first. Damn it. All right, so he's crying. That's, yeah, it's so. Raider broke. Yep. All right, so. Okay. Uh, the crew. Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh shit! Oh. <laughs> no. Okay, that's funny. I'm I'm willing to laugh at that. Okay, so he. Oh, uh, he's just gone. No, oh. you, you can you can have a crew, can't you? No, you see our crew, they're gone. That's that's the that's the shittiness about it. Ah. Okay, just, well there it is. There it is. Oh my so. gosh, that's so unlucky. Well, the conscript. The, who cares about the conscript? But the crew. You're like double whammy because now your medium is going to be. Uh, I took oh, a risk. It happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I got a lucky right. roll. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely. All right. So uh, the seven, three, three, seven. Oh, oh. my God. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right. It's all right. Okay. Now, he breaks. Now, what did yes. I roll on that? Five, four, and the you, you two. You got a five. You got a five. So that's a one morale points. check. So, yeah, he, he failed ELR too. So he got screwed too. Oh, okay. Let me go back to him. Oh, God. Let me go back to that guy. Uh, Remember when they say don't move in stacks? Yep. yep. That This is this is the primary. Even though we was pinned and you were in a wheat field, and that was only minus one. When you get a shitty roll like mine that could pop you, it's just, I mean, this shit happens. And uh, But that's fine. This is This is what we do. This is what we do. So well, he's. I was. I was actually taking a risk. I was trying to move that stack there. If I'd put him there. If I'd put him there, I. I would have. I would have severely restricted your movement. Yeah, and that's and why. Yeah, exactly. That's why I needed to get those guys across as many guys as possible across the roads. I have no problem with that. I have no problem with that. And that wasn't yeah, a bad move anyway. To be honest with you, Todd. It, it. If you moved one guy in there to draw my fire, guess what? There's one residual, and then you move one other guy in there. He gets shot, and then the other guy gets shot. So now you're doing three or four shots, so someone's gonna get popped. So I have no problem with that. I mean, there's there's really minimal risk there. That's all there is to it. So you just got unlucky. Oh my god, and the last guy's screwed. <laughs> He's disrupted. He's disrupted the right there. Uh, all right, so um, okay, where do I? Go? Oh, this will be interesting. Battle. Oh, this will be really interesting. So what happens? Does it do BH? What do I do? So uh, I, I yeah, just break, break him and him. then put a disruption him. on him. I'll get the okay. disruption marker. I'll get to find it somewhere somewhere on here. This is crazy. Okay, boom, boom. There's his disrupt, and you just flip him. Holy yeah, crap! Crazy. That's like the the. I mean, uh, unless you're the only thing worse is that your leader rolled a twelve and he just died from his wounds. That's the only thing worse that could happen in that stack. Actually, one of these one of these wouldn't have been subject to that because he wasn't moving. Right, right. The bottom the, guy. Oh, yeah, the bottom the guy's fine. This guy about on the prep, he's fine. This okay. guy is the one. Well, yeah, technically it's the same thing. It's it's well, you know, the one conscript <laughs> is fine. It's all right, man. Yeah. It's cool. That that is the game. Damn. It, work. it was kind of funny, really. All right, so um and you got a resid there, uh like one, right? Yeah, that's it. Two, one. Yeah, it's one. You got yeah, what? Uh, and your sniper is a snake eyes, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I'm not going to be. Hopefully, I won't be rolling too many of those. Holy shoot. But, you know, my leader and the two squads down there, they're still out of out of whack. I can't really, I can't really counterattack that. So, 
I mean, they, they can move away. That, 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 at least that's one good thing about it. And this guy hasn't moved over here. He's... Oops, sorry. Oh. It's all right. I unmoved your FF6 guy because I moved him earlier. Okay. So you got right, your so um, AA9 guy. You got the guys all on the left side and Chung to move. All right. I learned my lesson here. Chung's going to stick back there and catch people as they fall back. Um, which may or may not happen. Well, well, well where, where are you guys going to route to? Oh, where are they going to route to? Yeah. There's only – they can't move next to this guy here, so they're going to have to route um, back to that open square. That's where they're going to have to route to. Okay. What? what where's your nearest – where's your nearest um, – where's your nearest um... – Woods, right here, right here. Uh, Z8. Uh, Z Correct. So – Chung can make it to those woods, and pretty much he won't be subject to any real hazardous fire. I mean, I can shoot at him, but I'm looking through two wheat fields. And he can help rally the leader next time so he doesn't have to self-rally. That's Fair something enough. you might All want right. to think about. You know what? You're right, and I appreciate the uh, – yeah, that, there's no reason not to do that. All right, here's the path I take. Um, and thanks for the suggestion. You didn't yeah. have to do that. All right, so because two. the two the two three three sevens that you have in the wheat fields are gonna be maybe subject to six plus one charge, which aren't terrible shots, but uh, you know that's that, that, that this is where the decision making comes involved. If you expect them to break, well, if they both break, they're both gonna die because my whole force on the right hand side is just gonna shove forward, and then Chung will be out of the danger zone anyway at that point. So I think. Z8 would be Two. a safe move for Chung, considering your entire left flank needs a leader now. Four. And you don't have to, and you don't, and, and you don't have to necessarily move in there, mind you. Let's because say because that would. That's the same thing yeah. you we were talking about in the GG row. You don't need to be there right now in case I had like a medium machine gun like in Z4, right? <clears throat> right. And if you moved in there, I could pop in with my medium machine gun because I still have a minus one leader off the board. So. There's that. So you don't want to move in there necessarily first, just for safety reasons. And you could always advance in there. Those guys are going to route, and then you're going to advance safely. That way you don't get broken. So, But yeah, I'm not, I don't have anybody firing at the guys up top as he runs across. So, But there's possible that I might have a guy like in this, this big wheat field down where my broken guys are. There might be somebody down there that, that could be looking down that road that might want to shoot at that woods hex. Because remember, your leader advanced in there. Remember. Yep. So they go. Those guys advanced in there. So that uh, if you moved in there, I might have taken that shot if it was available. But since you advanced in there, I might want to keep myself hidden a little bit more. But yeah, just move him there, and then that way he'll be a little bit more safer on uh, on that next move. So, anyway, you have some other guys to move. I do. And to be honest, that my little three three seven, you, I got lucky on that pin. So there's a lot of lucky rolls I got on that side. No, I mean I, I took once again I took chances and they didn't pan out. Yeah. Um, so, but it's things are working well on my, on your left, so I can't complain. Yeah. I mean, I, I still have a chance of like you know pulling something out of this. Oh, definitely by all means. I mean, if there's a lot right, less so. of this game and it, and I mean you still have a lot of units. You have a yeah. You still have a lot of units. I got a strong force on the right. You got a strong force on the left. Okay. Yeah, because I do have things to do. I'm just trying to figure out how best to do them. Oh, this dude's pinned, isn't he? All right, good. Yeah. Remember, I have two medium machine guns that are worth two victory points apiece. 
Right. So that's four points right there for two machine guns. Oh. And I don't see them yet. Right. Oh, yikes. That's another thing. Trying to figure out how to finagle something. You'll see what I'm thinking that's about. Okay. In a once yeah, that's okay. Yeah, it's okay. No problems. Uh, where are you? One, two point five. You may fire if you would wish. If you wish. Um. Yeah, we know the targets. He's gonna uh, subsequent first fire. Yeah, it's gonna be a one, one minus one. Mm, right. Yeah. Because he's pinned and halved and halved and doubled. Right. Uh, five on the one is a pin task check. Hopefully, it'll keep him out of close combat. Damn it. Oh, 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 he's fine, but I get a sniper activation. Sand. Shit. Okay. Oh, uh, here's where here's where Chung might take it. Oh, okay. Here, no, yeah. Nothing. Well, you know, uh, odds would say he had an even chance of getting this one. Yeah. One in three. You think got three? Okay. Now, all right. So there he is. Yep. All right. So that's all done. All right. So here's where it gets weird. Mm, there's a bunch of dudes around that guy. He's gonna be toast. Yeah. What's going on? Trying to figure out how to move all this here. All right. I can't see X. Hmm. Wait a minute. If the CX is removed at the beginning of the phase, right? Right. I can, I could, can I do a, a late CX? No. Okay. You can't CX. Tw right. Essentially, you'd be sex CXing twice in a row. All right. All right. That's a good question, though. All right. I might as well use the cover of the woods here because I can't get across. I don't know where those machine guns are. Mm. All right. What happened there? Two. All right, you can move. Oh, go ahead and take the CX off of him. Okay. Two. Four. All right. You'll have to bounce back because that's one of my machine guns. Okay. Oh, sweet. Okay. Wow, that's going to get ugly real fast. All right. So it is, we've got 7, 14, 12. No, it's only, okay, it's only going to be 8. 8, oh, wow. Oh, 8 minus 2. What have we got? What are the terrain effect modifiers? All right. You're plus 1. Because of the woods. Right. Which are minus one from, oh, it's minus, so it's minus one. Correct. It's eight minus one. Right. And, um, yeah, that's just about eight minus one. So no rate of fire. Uh, I have to, I have, since I'm in woods, I must designate a covered arc. Um, it really doesn't matter too much. Only to a very, very limited extent, but. I will, uh, so anyway, what are all seven? Mm -hmm. it. So it's a six, six on the eight chart is one. a one morale check. So we'll go ahead and do the one morale check. I'll find the cover right later. All right. He's pinned. All right. Thank God. Wow. 
So the cover, what the cover arc does, and this is for machine guns, it's got to be down a hex spine, and the hex that it fired on has got to be included in the hex spine. So since I'm in a woods or building, I always move that the wrong direction. His covered arc can either be like this way. So now he's got like a covered arc like a gun, right? And mm -hmm. he could only subsequent first fire in that direction, or I can make the direction this way. So now he can only fire on the left hand side. So I'd have to choose in this particular instance, simply because you're on a straight hex row of which direction to fire. So since you're adjacent, it's really not going to make that much of a difference. 99% of your units have moved. The CX unit, the conscript really can't go through the wheat fields. So I'm just going to keep it on that side over there where it is right now. So, so if he had any sub, if, if he got multi, if he had rate of fire, Oh, he could only fire within that arc. That's what the. That's what yeah, that means. If if I try to, he he can get a subsequent or final. Yeah, he fire could fire right? again, which um, which Minus might break two, the weapon break down. down. So it'd be a breakdown of nine, but I'm I'm not going to do that because if the weapon breaks, I'm doomed. There's too many victory points for that. But yeah, I could subsequent first fire on the second movement factor of you bouncing back. But I've got more units I can throw in there. So. Right. Oh yeah, sorry. Four, four residual. Okay. Right, right, right. That's huge. It is, but I could. Did you mean to leave your covered arc up there? Yes. Okay. In case you moved like to FF five, then I could fire on you again. But if I did the covered arc the other way, like to DD six, then you could just walk up to FF five. And I couldn't fire my machine gun at you. I could fire the crew, but I couldn't fire the machine gun at you. I'm sorry, and he's first fired. My it's bad. Okay, but I, but if I if I went to GG five, you could fire in there, right? No, because because okay. uh, target selection limits because your other guy's adjacent to me, and I can't fire beyond oh, gotcha. that one hex. Right, right, right. So if I come in an FF4, I can kind of sneak up on him. Um, if I go GG5, yeah, GG... Yeah. I could subsequent first fire with the crew, but not the machine gun. Right. I believe so. It would yeah, be 2 I minus 2, right? That would be, yeah, 2 minus 3 because the Zhao is to minus 1, which is still a hell of a chart, which means an 8 is a morale check. Okay, now I missed a trick, and I'm sorry. Minus because, three? Yeah, because minus two in the open, right? Right, right. And then minus right. one for the leader. Oh, right, 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 right. Because okay. Zhao's with him. It's, you know what? At this point, it's worth the risk. Okay. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, on your second movement. This one right here? Yeah, right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. While, while you're in the middle of nowhere, I'll pull my other machine gun out of my ass. <laughs> well, I'd like, you know, that's kind of a, that's a trick, man. Um, that's a big weapon. I'm sure it hurt. Yeah. Now, okay, so uh, where is it? Uh, it's in FF, FF2. Oh, <laughs> fuck. As in, fuck, fuck, dude, gotcha. <laughs> Double fucked. Uh, so that's a... Uh, that's only a four minus two, but he's, he doesn't have a leadership modifier. But uh, Chang, Chang is a, is a sniper shot. He's the sniper. That's why it's, my sniper hasn't activated all day. So that's a four minus gotcha. two, so we'll see what happens. Right. Oh, shh. Uh, I think we know what happens. Though. And we get ready to fire, so... Oh, that's so, insult to injury. Um, yeah, he's gone. He's gone. Damn. That's well, you know, uh, once again, towards the end, start taking those chances. I think, you know, I don't, I'm not a quitter, but I think at this point. Now you got to go through close combat. You got to kill that little bastard in close combat first. Oh, I, I, but I, I think, uh, wow, that was, that was brutal. Well, that those mini machine actually. guns are two points apiece. Now you're down. 
two, four. So if you if you killed if you got both medium machine guns, and of course you got to kill the guys to probably get them. Right. So what I would do is since since you're behind a number of points, is just bum rush the hell out of those guys. Just throw everything you got on. You got four squads in that area that could just charge Zhao, and if you get him, the other guys can charge Zhang, and that Zhao's worth two points, the crew's worth two points, and the medium's worth two points. So that stack right there is six victory points. Gotcha. So you, there's no it's way you're going to punish the guys up in the top right re refill. You don't have enough guys. I mean, you'd have to pull something really crazy. But you've got you've got three, four, five squads on that on that left hand side, and I've got those two broken units, which there's a possibility they won't rally. I mean, it's possible. So I've got nothing to defend those mediums with. What, so, what I was trying to do is I was trying to get my medium in position where my sniper is. That way, I could bring advancing yes. fire on those guys, DM yep. them again. And also put myself in a position where you basically couldn't move. I, yeah, I can't cross the road. That's why. That's why I saw that too. It's like, oh, he's in. If he gets there, I'm doomed. And that's why I try to get as many guys. But the wheat field slows him down a little bit. But yeah, I had to get him because because my mediums were the only thing over here, and you had all your guys on that side, and you could just you know just decimate that entire side. And that's uh. But I just you know I got like a shot there and but but yeah we, we I mean it's still here. You still got advanced fire from the the three three seven that's pinned. And my guy did damage to you. There's no reason why you can't do damage to me. So, but right. but you need to kill okay. that guy in close combat. Even if you want to uh, concede at the end of the, end of the turn, you got to kill that guy first. You got to get you got to get something back. You got to get that morale back going. So, um, that's it for my. Oh, you got you have the CX unit the the conscript up at the top. Right. I'm gonna two. They only have a movement of three though. So. I'm just gonna, you know, get them the hell down here. Yep. You know, brush there. Yep. And remove the CX. Gotcha. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh God. Absolutely. That was yeah, that was funny. Okay, okay now. Yeah. Um all right, so we're done with movement. Oh yeah. Oops. Next defensive fire phase. No, I could fire the machine gun adjacent, but I'm not, because I again I don't want to break it. The final fired guy in BB six can't fire again because he's finaled and you're not moving. And um, that's, I'm not going to, that's like a plus two plus two. I'm not even going to take that shot. So we'll take our six firepower plus one shots, one on okay. each of those guys down the bottom. We'll fire Shen and the buddy next to him, the V6. Right, right. At your guy in V8. So he's a six plus one because of the one wheat field. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. That's okay. Well, I'll need him for the other guys. So six uh, plus one there. Oh god. Uh, so it's a one round check for the guy on V eight. You need a snake eyes. You need a, need a leader. You need a berserk or something. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, ELR. Uh, yes, you're correct. Okay, so battle. R. Boop. Okay. okay. And the other yeah. one. And the other one, same thing oh, about the other two guys. Yeah. Okay, that's absolutely nothing. And that's and that's okay. all I have. That's all I have. So all remove right. residuals, remove defensive fire. And you have advanced fire? <coughs> oh, yeah. Sure. Uh, oh, yeah, you got a couple guy shots. right here. That's three plus one. Correct. Uh, two, two plus one. one. So. Nope. Seven. Seven. Two. Yeah, missed by oh. one. All right. Now, um, and, and and why not really? Um, you're not pinned. Sorry about that. Oh, didn't mean to do that. There we go. All right. Um, this guy right. The guy in X5. Gotcha. Hold on a sec. I gotta, I gotta let my dog out. Hold on. No worries.
Yeah, I know, I know what that, that dance, dance means. It's time for him to be let out. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he's a good dog. All right, so, um, all right, that was a uh, two plus one. Is that what I was doing? Oh. Yeah. That's yeah, to the guy in X5. Gotcha. Um, all right, so that didn't do anything. That didn't do anything. Mm. And I here here's here's the thing. This is where it gets moderately strategic. I'm not going to shoot at this guy here. The pin dude? Uh, yeah, I'm yeah, not going to shoot, gonna shoot at him right. because I don't want to break him. Right. Or generate a sniper. I wanna, right. I want to maul him. So that's not going to happen. All right. So that's it. That's all That's all I can do. So. Uh -huh. Rock bow. No, I could voluntarily oh, break out. him. But. What could you sh you can't. Oh, can you? Oh, you're pinned. That's right. Yeah, I could voluntarily break him and get him one and a half, two and a half, three, four. Yeah, technically, I could break him and rot him the entire way down to to a uh, fang. Technically. And um. But you know what? I'm not, because if you don't kill him, that means those guys are going to be stuck there for another turn, and my guys can move freely. And if you right. do kill him, if or if you, if I move, that means you guys can defensive fire and then move up freely the next turn. And I don't want you to get that hedge before I get that hedge. And uh, I need those guys available down there. Now, if my guys in AA3 were uh, unbroken, I would break that guy and drop him down, and my unbroken guys would jump up and take the hedge before you could claim it. But since they're broken, I've got nothing else to defend over there other than that uh, medium machine gun. So anyway, I'll leave him there. Uh, he'll probably die, but I might be able to take somebody out. Right. And then, uh, but you have a broken unit in V eight. I have several. Oh uh -huh. yeah, 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 yeah. Your stack. Well, uh, you'll have to. Since your crew. I have to leave it. Yeah, I'm the only one that can take my guy with it. Yeah, you have to leave the medium. But your, the medium does, is no value for you. There's no victory point for me to get capture your medium. Not that I'm going to get it anyway, because you got four guys around there. All right, so... I'm going to do these one at a time, of course. There's my officer. Now, you know the route path I'm taking. Yeah, so yeah, everyone's wanna... going to Z8. I can, there's no interdiction or nothing like that. Here, uh, that gets left over there. Damn conscripts! God, they suck. The five morale is just bad. Uh, didn't mean to do that. Okay. All right. Yeah, put him over here. All right. That stays. On the disrupted guy can only move I one hex. I... Oh, he can't move, can he? No, he has to move. That's the only time he can move. Oh, yeah. But he can only move, he oh, can only move one hex. hex. Yeah. I'm sorry, he can only move how far? One hex. Because okay. he's not subject to normal route. But the other guy can make it to the... Um, yeah, absolutely. The other guy can make it to Z8. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, if you had that guy in I'd AA6, never... I think the game probably would have been over. Because I think you would have uh, found my MMGs and to be able to pounce on them before I get guys over there. So literally, that one roll probably uh, saved me a bunch of headache. That's the game, man. That's what's so great about the game. But it, this will be crazy here. So yeah, and then that guy can go the entire way to the <clears throat> up to the leader. All right, I'm gonna advance. No, no, not yet. Now this is all. Oh, we'll remove the press. Sorry, my bad. There. That's okay. I'm no. I'm just trying to get it all. all right, see, it keeps. Hmm. Yeah, left click off the stack, and then double click to expand it, and then single click 
on the unit that you want. If you want to, if you want to select more than one unit, then you hold down um, no. shift, and it will select Just one. So. Yeah, it will select or deselect units. Say like oh, if right, units no. were like first, third, ninth, or something like that, then you could select each of those and pull them out separately. Thank okay. God. All right, so um, this five right here goes. Did that work? No, it didn't. Let's try it again. I can just move it over there, which I have done. Yep. That just moved right back. That's frustrating. Oh, I know. Because it's a tall stack, you expanded it. That's why. Yeah. Just move it off to the side and then take the DM, just use the same thing, and then kind of stack it back. Like that? Yeah. That, that, because your, your stack bad. kind of is going into the area that you're moving it to. It really, It's really kind of wonky. Yeah, at that point, just move it off okay. to the side like Z2. Just close the stack and move it back. Yeah, All right, so. Right yeah, pretty, that's, that right. pretty that's good. That's done. Oh, and this right here. Oh, yeah. So let me get it out of there. All right, so. So we're done routing, I think. So advance phase. Dude goes here. Hmm. I'm going to do a surprise move here. This guy, he's advancing here. Yep. Nope. That I can at least do uh, something about keeping you from. Yeah, the medium's got to stay behind now. Move. Oh, right, right. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. didn't mean to do that. That's all right. All right, this right here moves here. And those guys going to jump on him? Oh, yeah. Okay, and he can't advance. That would have been good if I could advance, but. Well, actually, check this out. Look at your, look at your situation you got here. You got a guy here, right? Right. Your pin guy's not going to move. So he's got, I've got a machine gunner right there, right? So where's your conscript going right. to move? Conscript went here. Because next turn, this is going to be gone. Right, so where's your conscript right. going to move? Okay. You're probably not going to go to FF6 because the other medium can hit you. Right, so I go here, but I don't want to go here. I, I don't, I'm I sorry, I don't, into, see, I don't see where you're going. I'm sorry, if I go to EE6, right. that exposes to fire, so I would go into DD6. DD6, right, and what else can you do? Wait. So you can move him here, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Him, in and of itself, is kind of a shitty chart, because let's say I just break this unit right next to me, right? But if you move right. this guy, instead of moving him to close combat, you move him here, then I've got then I've got two different hexes I need to fire at. They both have the same defense, and my attack against them is exactly well, is very close to similar. I'm gonna be a four even on this that two stack over here, but your return attack is gonna be exactly the same. You're both gonna have two six plus ones. So that gives me either attack at a lower odds chart against two squads. Or attack at a higher odd against one squad next to me. That puts pressure on me, and that gives you an opportunity to defensive fire, unless I just want to just shit tail move out of there. You see how that works in terms of trying to maneuver and putting pressure on yep. me and make me to make a decision. You could jump that guy in close combat. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that because you could always bring these other guys later. But um, you know, if you're going to be assault moving or moving in in the CC six. Let's say you kill that guy and then you go, uh, let's say you just go like non-assault movement there and then non-assault movement here. I've got a minus one, so it's going to negate the wheat field, so it's going to be a four minus one shot. So that's pretty crazy. But right there, if you advance him here, that's going to be four even shot. And you get a return shot from at least, hopefully one of them, assuming I don't get ready to fire. And that's the one thing you got to, you know, you got to, you got to, you know, 
consider i don't i never consider my mediums ever getting rate of fire honestly i just i consider them one shot weapons but they the rate happens sometimes you but, got a one um, in three chance it's not bad okay well yeah. I, thank you I'll, I'll, I'll accept that but that gives you but a good offensive position or defensive counter fire in case <clears throat> that makes me decide okay do i want to risk gacking my roll or do i just want to hightail that guy out of there so and that's a choice that i have to make and if i hightail it out of there that i can seed that entire corner and the hedge essentially that corner and the hedgerow to you for 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 that battle or i well technically i can kind of move them around the corner over here and kind of screw with you that way but you know that's that it is what it is it's just a decision what you think i might do and uh or whatever but if you want to take the two to one by all means kill them no no you do you uh you you make a you make a good point so that's what i'll do yeah. all right but i do have the close combat here to at least tie him up probably yeah yeah, yeah. he's right. half firepower and you got the conscript right behind him and those other guys will rally but yeah i'm not i'm not likely going to kill you my i'm a one to two so you get to roll first you just kill me outright with a four right am i Am I one to one or two to one? You're one to one. Uh, my defense is the same. My offensive capabilities is half. Okay. All right, seven, and I get a one to one to two. Yeah, nothing. So that's a melee. All right. 